Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and walkthrough, and this time we're getting it all in, cue squeaky giggling, Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse Part 1, hooray! Now, this was developed by Explosive Max Skeleton Crew Studios, and was published by Serenity Forge, and a big shout out there to both the devs and pubs, for providing me the code in which to bring the, this walkthrough, but you can grab this for £16.74 slash $19.99. So we play as Coop, go away weirdo McCarthy, as an unloved, unpopular, ungirthy, but full on ginger orphan who just wants to make the world a better place. But you know, is all those things I just said, so it's a bit harder for him. Not saying, of course, that if you are actually ginger, you're unloved and unpopular, but that's just a quinky dink. <laughs> now, I love this game and the sign in happiness world, so this was refreshingly awesome to play, so hope you feel the same too. Now, achievements-wise, there's a lot going on, to be honest. There's many miscellaneous achievements, but a lot of collectibles that can be easily missed. We have to keep an eye out for 69 costumes, 27 asking people to the proms, 40 gotems, got thems, got -ums, and many side quests, plus a 30-minute speed run at the end of the game, which is actually plenty of time, so don't panic there. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. It's hilarious, it's my kind of humour, and we can actually get this game done in around three hours. I'll explain the reason it's three hours and not two and a half like it is in the video right now. So with that being said then, let's begin. So, when we press new game, what we're going to do is, you're just going to come up with a, uh, a new save name. Now, I've just come up with um, the Welsh Hunter. Oh, that's not how you spell the Welsh Hunter. <laughs> what happened there? A bit of autocorrect went on. Yeah, <laughs> well... Isn't that a damn shame? So, apparently my new save is Rotted Flaps. Okay, we'll take it. Um, I will be skipping through mo all the dialogue, you know, most of the dialogue, most of the cutscenes as well, but... Honestly, the game's hilarious, so I do highly advise to just watch it. Just, just watch the videos, watch the cutscenes, they're all brilliant. So, uh, we're gonna begin in this dreamlike sequence, because of course that's what all unloved ginger orphans do, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I do. That's what I do best. Let tear down my eye. So this basically, it's just going to tell you exactly what we have to do um, and all the button prompts and stuff. So left stick to move. I'll just I'll just explain all. Left stick to move. Uh, the right stick is to move the cursor. A, the A button obviously to interact with things. We'll be pressing the left bumper to go into our inventory. And then if you want to grab something out of your inventory, press the A button on it and then the right stick to move it wherever you want. There will, of course, be plenty of times to speak to people, but a lot of the times the dialogue options don't actually matter. There will, when those particular ones come up, though, that we do have to pick specific options for, I will obviously let you know. Also, the, for the majority of the game, when we interact with things, um, we will get the X button. So when we press the A button to click on something, say a rotted apple or whatever it is, the X button will always be to look at an item. The Y button will be to touch an item or pick it up. And the B button is to speak so we will be speaking to random people and many random objects through the game as well because again it's what the unpopular do they talk to themselves mutter stuff to themselves go on a tangent and then end up in prison for crimes which they shouldn't really be doing but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. so that is basically that's that's basically there again you can obviously press the start button we can press the save um you, you can manually save a lot and uh, when you press the start button, you can have a look at the costumes, plenty to look at at the start menu, but again, we won't really be looking at that. There will only be a couple of times I'll let you know um, when to press the start button and when we'll make a manual save for random achievements and things. But the first one we will be getting, now do not move. When we start, do not freaking move! And I'll tell you why, we're going to be grabbing the first achievement there called Dying From Boredom. And that is for literally not moving for 30 minutes. So just keep Coop really still, don't move your controller at all. If your controller ends up dying or whatever, you can press it back on and then press the guide button and press the B button to go back. Just as long as Coop doesn't move for the next, well for me it was 26 minutes. Um, but anywhere between 25 minutes and 30 minutes you have to stand still. So, obviously, you're probably going to have to pause the video right now if you want to get this achievement. You can get it at the end of the game as well if you want to, if you want to carry on right now. Um, but I just got the Diner Boredom, so that is just for standing still for 30 minutes, and then we can move on. So, what are we going to do then? We're going to go to the left, of course, left stick to move, right stick to move the cursor, of course. Um... Psionic Pastive, <laughs> the, the names crease me in this game. I can't wait to laugh with you all. So, uh, as soon as we, again, 
a lot of the times I'll just smash the dialogue with the A button. Now you can just see the uh, locker shine up behind the old Frankenstein dude right there. So press the A button on the locker, again using your right stick to move. And then you will have the uh, telekinesis ability uh, with the A button. So do that one, save the student and start heading towards the left. Super bad, super bad, I'm super freaky. Yeah. And this is where we'll start messing about with the inventory. So as soon as Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, Lloyd Christmas and Harry Dunn, <laughs> if you know, you should know what that's from. Uh, as soon as these stop talking to each other, then then we can go ahead and finally use our inventory, Psionic Prestige. It honestly creases me. So oh, the stuff in here creases me. So left bumper, press the A button on the item that you want, which will of course will be the finger trap. Right stick then to move it out and drag it around, and then just put it on the two guns. There won't be a prompt that tells you. You just put it near the guns and it will work. And then uh, Jim Carrey there and Jeff Daniels will have problems, and then we can move on. So we're going to go to the left. And again, by the way, when you go into other doors, if you double tap the A button, you can get through doors a little bit quicker as well. So, saves a few seconds or so. Uh, but that is if you go into new areas and new doors. When you basically see the, like, little shadow, the A button with the little shadow U. So, just to let you know there. Right. Drag your cursor over and get the diploma in the burning box on the top right-hand corner. Press the A button twice for your telekinesis, Kyle. And then this is... Pretty much it. So what we're going to do is get the participation award and we're going to wake up from our daydream and start the game proper. God damn, I wish I had abs like that. Instead, I've got flabs. Because the only abs I've got are in keb. Keb abs. Depressingly. Right, now we can again just smash through all of the dialogue right here. <laughs> he a dick. Poop coop. Honestly, it's so childish, but so hilarious. We're trying to concentrate on her aptitude to- Yeah, Coop, I told you. I'm not emotional- No means no, Coop. No, but- Yeah, and I totally suck- What? But he- For the last time, Coop, I don't care if Kim is cheating- What a queefing, cheating, cheater queef. I'm gonna use the five-point palm exp- That is it, Mr. But- Right now, Ah, uh, ha ha, sayonara, dipshit dick turd. Now that's not very nice, Kent. I'm not a dipshit dictator. How very dare you. Right, so let us begin the game proper. There's the achievement then. So now we can go out of the door. So it's, when you see the shadow, you can double tap it and nip out of here. So once we get here into the hallway, let's go to the right. And we are going to, into the red door here, the faculty office. We're just a principal at the top. Now what we can do is look at the ceiling fan here and then press the B button. So press the A button on the ceiling fan, then the B button. And that is what's called a gotham. So, and the second one there will be the cactus as well on the old Florence's desk. So, Gotham's are basically, you know, little one-liners, which Coop thinks he's hilarious, but he's actually, uh, you know, it's about as hilarious as a kick to the bowels. Um, but we got to do 40 of them. So, two of those right there then. So, the ceiling lights and the cactus. When we go into the principal office, um, going to be a lot of dialogue here, but there is going to be a... Uh, another two achievements that we're actually going to be grabbing and a, ca and a costume in here as well But again, just smash through L Dialogo The moustache makes you look like you're going to get arrested by the police for <laughs> warranting not very nice photos No offense if anyone's got a moustache like that, of course Please don't, it, it won't happen But he's, a uh, he's What's this? A distracting phone call Hello? Don't you know I'm in the- I'll deal with your permanent record later. I have to go do something that's far more important. Yikes! I better find some way to alter my permanent- So, first thing to do, we're gonna grab the whiteout, which is just on the left here. So again, press the Y button. So you press the A button to interact with it, and then press the Y button to put things into your old back and packing. Then uh, press left bumper to go into your inventory, A button again to click on it, and then right stick to put it over the uh, desk, your permanent record on your desk. Obviously, I'm not going to say left bumper for inventory, blah, 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 every single time, just so you get used to it for the first 10 minutes or so. So with that one, we are going to get the not so poignant after all. And what we're going to do is have a look at the filing cabinet there in the top left corner. 
and press the Y button. Now, what we have to do, we have to look at every single permanent record. So, what you're going to be doing for the next two or three minutes is literally just spamming the A button. So, you know, if you want to get some steroids in your thumb for just a couple of minutes, then uh, be my guest. Again, like I said, <laughs> if you've got time, have a look through all of them because a lot of them are goddamn hilarious, as to be expected. But if we're just looking for achievements, uh, steroid, up your th steroid up your thumb and then bash the A button for a couple of minutes until the achievement unlocks. So when this is done then, we're going to get the achievement called Perma Peeper. Now before we leave, make sure to grab the, uh, interact with the trash can there. Press the Y button, the A button, and then the Y button on the trash can to get the graduation cap. Now that'll be a fourth out of 69 costume, because the first three are automatically unlocked as we start the game. So we're already on to four out of 69. Making progress. Making gravy babies. Wait, what? Anyway. Out of here, we're going to get Holly Pass, who just reminds me of Eric Cartman from that one uh, South Park episode. I am the dog, the big bad dog, the hallway monitor. You know, that one if you've seen South Park. If not, then never mind, I've just made myself look a crap, and we will move on. So, what we're going to do then, we are going to press, we're going to talk to Mark. To press the B button here to talk to Mark, but very importantly... Do not smash out of the dialogue. What we have to do is ask him the second option, will you go to prom with me? And this will be the first out of 27, will you go to prom with me, asking for those. Now, we've got to make sure to ask him that first. If we ask him the fourth option, where in the school would one score, blah, 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 that starts his side quest, and then we cannot get the prom with me question. So make sure to ask him to go to prom with you first, and then we're going to say, smell you later, bro. And we will come back to Mark Huffington, hilariously, in just a bit. So what we're going to do now is we are going to grab, uh, press the Y button here on the trash can again. And that is going to get us a plastic bag. Nice. Well, as long as there's no pubes in the bag, we should be good to go. Right, we are going to go all the way back and head into class 101 right here, which is Murphy's class. Uh, what we're going to do, for some reason, Mr. Murphy is in his S&M outfit. Um... Yep, yeah, your guess is genuinely as good as mine. Uh, so we're going to speak to him again. Obviously, the A button and then the B button to speak to Mr. Murphy. We are going to ask him if he wants to come to prom with us. Old uh, Gimp Murphy. So we get the achievement called Hurt Me More. <laughs> Choose the fourth dialogue. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, Choose the fourth dialogue option there. Will you go to prom with me? And that'll be number two out of 27. We're just going to leave him, but what we're going to do is pick up the pencil off the desk. Now again, of course, it's the Y button to either touch or grab something. And that's the last time I'll explain that. You probably know by now. Right, so let's just leave Gimp Murphy for some reason. Who, I don't know what teachers bring their S&M outfits to school, but, um, well, the school of hard knocks. Right, what we're going to do is speak to Chet and Brittany, who are making out. <laughs> make out noises. 
<laughs> I can't. This whole game has me creased. So, what we're going to do is actually choose the third dialogue option. You know, this is actually starting to turn me on. And that's not uncommon. Pretty much in American schools everywhere. Every teen is just horny about absolutely everything. So, you know, it's just a normal thing, to be honest. But, uh, what that's going to do is eventually get them out of the way. Uh, everyone's going to know that uh, Coop is a creep. <laughs> Let's kick his balls. God damn. Uh, so, anyway, when they nip off... What we can do is go into your inventory, grab the pencil, and use it on your locker. The one that says Coop, pretty obvious which one that is. And that is going to get the locker blocker achievement for us as well. Plus, it's also going to give us our permission slip. So that will automatically get into your backpack. And we'll have that for later. Right. What we can do, go to the left ever so slightly. And there's going to be another set of lockers. The second one, the second top one from the left is the one that we need to go in. So, literally the second one there, top left, press the Y button on it, and that'll get us the novelty arrow costume. That should be 5 out of 69 now. Right, now we're going to go directly down and into the science uh, class. Here we are, a couple of things we're going to be grabbing here. So, first off, we're going to talk to Clint on, which is the guy in the red. Balder than my own... <laughs> balder than my bowels. Um... Speak to him, again, obviously pressing the B button, and we will get the tin foil hat. Oh, because aren't there just enough of those in the world? Ooh, doesn't it sound a little crazy? Grab the sugar there from the uh, top desk, or the one closest to the chalkboard. Make sure to grab the sugar. That has a story quest item, that will come in handy. Now we're going to touch the cabinet on the right. Uh, again, so obviously press the Y button, touch the cabinet. That is going to give us the deg dead frog hat costume, that's number 7. And then we can talk, again pressing the B button, on the test tubes for another got him. I think you're vile. Ah, uh, well, Coop, I can see why you're unpopular. Right, so after that then, we can now lip, uh, nip out. And now we're going to go to the classroom just above us again, uh, right at the top, number 103, which is the history class. Two things we're doing in here. We are going to be talking to the trash can first, and that will be one garden, and then talk to the bookshelf, which would be another garden. So the bookshelf on the left, talk to that, job done. Your history bookshelf. <laughs> well done, Coop, well done. Right, grab the rotting apple, which is on top of the bookshelf. Again, of course, using the Y button, as you all know by now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know that by now. And then we're all good. Right, so that's the two Garnums, that's the apple we've got. Now we can just head back out of the door. And we're going to go into the girls' bathroom. Apparently, you can just walk in and out and nobody gives a crap. We're all good. Right, so first thing we're going to do is pick up the yeast from the uh, bin. Mm, that's always a delicious thing. That's always a normal school day in America, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> picking up yeast from bins and stuff. And there's a bunch of curly pubes on the counter. Anyway, speak to Crystal, and of course what we need to do is uh, select option 4 first, uh, to ask her to prom. So, well, you've got a prom with me, and that will be the third out of 27 proms asking prom-ish that we're doing. Now what she's going to actually do is she's going to basically tell us why we're upset, we're going to fix a problem, and this is going to be our first side quest. But we're not going to go and do it just yet, we'll come back to this in just a little bit. Crystal Sobs. <laughs> That's a great name. Some of the names in this game, like I said, are just hilarious. And there's what? There's a couple that just have me rocking for ages. But for now, we're going to exit and we're going to go into the boys' bathroom, which is, of course, just to the left. Again, a couple of things we're going to do in here. There is a, a little bit of hair gel right um, by the sink. So we're going to touch that one first. So again, Y button to touch it. So stick your nugget in there, brother. And that also gets us the Pompadour costume. So that should be 8 out of 40 costumes. And then we can press B on the open urinal. Uh, again, you can take a look at his doodle, see if it's bigger than yours. Because that's what all men do in urinals. Um, not me, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, mine's already small enough, I know. Right, speak to the urinal twice there to get the 6 out of 40 gottums. And then speak to the blonde John Travolta looking bros. Um... And he's just gonna, they just, basically, they, they want some stuff. They want a fine toilet wine. So after we speak to him here, Ace Ventura, John Travolta, Ace Chase, and 
McGace? McFace? Boaty McBoatface. Ah, oh, Doug Lace. Eh, well. They could have had three for three. Uh, no, after they stop talking anyway, uh, speak to them again, because we've basically got all the ingredients now. So everything that we should have got, we have got for them. Uh, so we don't have to go anywhere. So this uh, whaps this one out of the way, and it also gets the Hoochaholic achievement, plus the <laughs> official, <laughs> apparently, the official Hall Pass class. Right, uh, stop comparing and stop looking at that guy's wiener. Let's get out. And now we can just talk to Holly. Simply talk to Holly there. It's the hallway monitor. And that will be that. Now after this, our friend Soya is going to ask us to hang up some flyers. So she's just going to be off to the right by the lockers. Oh my god. What the hell? That is normal for an American school mind for students to be... Of the hallway monitor be, to be having a shotgun on them. Of course it is. Because it's America, where they ban Kinder Eggs? Because it's poisonous, but you can just waltz into Walmart, get a gun, no problem. It... <laughs> my head explodes. He's none taken, and I know. All right. I'll get right on it. Oh, and, uh, try not... I'll do my damnedest. Ah, oh, shucks. I better go find something to plug this USB... Right, so let's go ahead and do that. First thing we're going to be doing, we're going all the way right, and we're going to go outside. We've uh, got rid of the hallway monitor. Now we can go outside. We're going to go to the left here and speak to drug dealer Scarface Man. So let's go ahead and speak to him. And again, what we're going to do is select the third option. Will you go to the pram with me? I'm a nice guy, and, you know, I've only got one testicle and stuff, but, but that's fine. And it's bigger than my wiener, but that's fine. Anyway, make sure to ask him to prom, like I said, and that'll be the, um, whatever I'm on about. That'll be the fourth out of 27. Um, now what we can do, we can just, um, pick the bottom option there just to leave him to it. Now we can go back inside and speak to Mark Huffington. So head back inside at Netherton High School. It could have been better if it was called Nether Region High School, but that's okay. Uh, speak to the lowly, low-key drug E. Uh, Mark Huffington right here. Now we can start his side quest. Again, make sure that you've asked, you have asked him to go to prom with him before starting this side quest. As long as you've done that, we should be good to go. So you select option four. That starts his side quest. And now after this, we're going to head back outside. And we're going to speak to drug dealer McScarface once again. Smell you later. Even though you look like you've, um, Coop looks like he's been dragged through a hedge backwards and through a bunch of manure. But anyway, we're going to speak to drug dealer McScarface once again. And what he's going to do is speak to us, but he's going to automatically give us another side quest. Side quest popping at you bigger than a three nipple tarantula. <laughs> That's a thing, right? <laughs> okay. The kindergarten mark. So, what your Scarway, Scarbegon, Scarwash, Scarborough, Fair Skin. Uh, okay. So, when this is done, what we're going to do is go to the right, head up slightly, and s speak to Guitar Hippie Man Warren. Uh, basically, all we're doing is asking uh, asking him to prom. Warren Wonder, wow. Great name, great name. Anyway, choose option four, uh, will you go to prom with me? And that is going to be the fifth one out of 27. And then we never see Mr. Wonderwall ever again. Nice. So after all this then, what we're going to do, we're going to head back into the school. And we are going to get a couple of hilarious achievements. And one of these, we'll just get the old... the Basically, it'll just get the old homophobes absolutely having a stroke. And we'll show you why now. So head back into the Nether Region High School. I'm going to call it Nether Region from now on. Go into the faculty office, the red door right here, uh, basically where the principal is. Now what you have to do is speak to the boys sitting on the bench, hilariously called Starsky and Hutch. So just speak to them, and we need to ask them both to prom. But they only count as one. So as soon as uh, you get through all this bit of dialogue, we're going to select the fourth option. Will you both go to prom with me? So that'll be number six out of 27. And now we're going to get something for the gammon-faced boomers who, you know, if there is one simple gay guy on the TV, they go, ugh, no, can't be doing that. So the first thing what we're going to do, we're actually going to um, press the last dialogue option. We're just going to say see you for a second because we are going to make a manual save. Highly important to do it here. If you don't, you can grab this on your speed run at the end of the game. 
Uh, but obviously, it's just better to do it now. So make sure that you've saved your game. Speak to Starsky and Hatch again. And then what we're going to do is actually um, choose the second option. You obviously hate each other. Why do you even hang out? And this is where everyone is... Well, people of a certain kind are going to start having an absolute stroke. And it's coming. And it's coming. No, not me. I mean, the, the uh, scene is coming. That's harsh. Ready, steady. Oh! <laughs> oh, and like I said, you know, it's weirdly hypnotic, and I can't stop staring. Anyway, when the achievement unlocks, we are going to exit the main menu. Make sure to sit pre uh, press just quit. Make sure to press just quit, because if you save and quit, you'll miss out on the other achievement, and then simply load the game back up. My save, rotted flaps. Um, but yeah, tell you what, every every gammon-faced old man who just hates the look of... One gay guy could just be sitting there and going, Oh, that's gross. Like, <laughs> literally, this not, it's just a gay guy. They, they, they don't do anything. Um, anyway, we're now going to choose the third option when we get back into it. And we will get the other uh, the other achievement called Distraction with Action. So the first the first uh, time where we got them um, making out and stuff, that was the distraction with attraction. Now we're going to get them fighting, and it'll be the distraction with action. Now this is where the uh, gammon-faced bitter old men come back into it, and they go, Yeah, this is more like it. Yeah, man stuff fighting and that, isn't it? Yeah, n none of that kissing each other. And oh, but I like watching lesbian porn, but no, oh, gays don't. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, I don't know why. I don't know why some people are like that. Anyway, moving on, grab the USB stick and use it with the Xerox printer on the right. Annoyingly, actually, hilariously, because this is accurate as hell, you have to do it three times. The reason being, you stick a USB in once, it doesn't work, so you switch it in the other way, and it doesn't work. But for some reason, the third way always works. USBs are just designed to troll with you and piss you off, and it's hilarious. Unless you've had a really bad day and everything, of course. So, when we've popped that one up, grab the flyers. Of course, touch the flyers. Grab the flyers there with the white button. And now we can finally leave the faculty office. Yeah, go on, guys. Yeah, fight. Don't make out. Nah, that's not nice, is it? Right, so we never see Starsky and Hatch again. So, don't worry, gammons. We're all good. Grab one of the posters. Put them on the announcements boards right where Mark Huffington is. Oh, poor sad man's. And then what we can do now, we're just going to go directly down into the hallway. Can be easy to miss these hallways, but we're going to go directly down. Grab another flyer from your inventory, and we're going to put it straight on the artboard where this, um... Ah, uh, I don't even know what... Th th that artiste, angry-looking artiste, is just chilling. But that'll be two out of the three. Now we can go straight into the nurse's office. A couple of things to do in here. What we're going to do is touch the cabinet where the nurse is standing by with the sick uh, stickers on them, the sick emojis. So just touch them. You're going to get a nurse hat and a sexy nurse shirt. Welcome to Halloween, where everyone is just a sexy nurse or Harley Quinn. Right, now we're going to speak with the nurse. Uh, what we're going to do first is uh, tell her the third option. Nurse Gwendolyn. So tell her the third option down there. It's kind of in a private place. I scarred my I scarred my wiener because nobody else will touch it. That's pretty much what Coop is. Yeah, pretty much. So after this, we can now actually ask her to prom. So before leaving, we need to speak to her again. Oh, just touched the button. Right, get out. That's not nice. Right, speak to her again, and we are going to ask her to prom, which will be the second option. So, just, um, you know, I'm saying slam, there you go, so choose the second option, that'll be prom 7 out of 27. I'm saying I slam through the dialogue, but honestly, the dialogue is so funny in this game, it's just, it's hard to just slam through it, like in, <laughs> like in other games. Um, oh god damn, Gwendolyn! That's my kind of nurse! Where was a nurse like this when I was in school? Instead, they fisted you! And she was about 26 stone, and she had a fist the size of a, anyway... Moving on, what we're going to do is go directly down from the nurse's office, and we're going to speak to Ms. Puffs. Her day on uh, her days on SpongeBob look a bit um, look a bit more depressing than they were right there. SpongeBob really took a toll on her. So uh, go ahead, speak to Ms. Puff, and then ask her to prom, which will be the second option. 
And that will be prom number 8 out of 27. Well, you got a prom with me. Not even if you promise. And I mean, to be fair, Coop, you got to be desperate if you want a deflated Mrs. Puff. But there we go. So that's all we need to say. Now we can just say, guess we'll leave you to your important work. Yeah, no. No, 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 not at all. But before we speak to um, <laughs> Philip J. Fry from that one in Futurama episode on the right there, in the coffee episode, we're going to touch the mini fridge. This is important for an achievement later on. We are going to take the label from the bagged lunch inside. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit finicky um, in terms of where you put the cursor, but a lot of the time, you know, second or third attempt will be fine. Very much like a USB sticking in. Anyway, grab the label from the bagged lunch. Now we're going to speak to Ed. Who has just, I mean, he is, dude's hyped up, dude is hyped up man, but we are going to ask him to prom, <laughs> Edspresso, uh, it's the second option, ask him to prom, which will be number 9 out of 27, sorry, th this is where it starts getting even better, Edspresso, class, ah, oh, the talent, the talent of everyone who wrote this game is just friggin' awesome, right, so now we can leave, nothing else to do in here, we're just speaking to uh, Deflated Mrs. Buff. Now from here, what we're going to do is go down the hallway again, so, uh, oh sorry, up the double doors. Sorry, not down the hallway, but up. And we've got a whole bunch of Kickstarter lockers. Now, to be fair, this is a very cool shout out um, to everyone who uh, basically chucked in some money. <laughs> basically backed the Kickstarter project here to fund the game. So what we're going to do is touch the top left... Um, Locker, so all you have to do is basically just go through the whole thing. So, and it goes from down, from sort of up, down, left, and right. So, if you touch the top left locker, and then just like the permanent records, we're just going to spam the A button until we get to the very, very end. So, again, this will take about a minute or so. So, just keep spamming the A button until you cannot go through any more lockers. Again, this is for another achievement later on. Sorry, I just got a little paranoid there, but um, nope, as long as you go through all of the lockers, um, you will be absolutely fine. Now we're going to find one, which will be at the very, very top. Um, yeah, you would have done all these, so don't panic. Uh, the, the one without a number at the very top in the middle of the last set of lockers. What we're going to do is go ahead and speak to him, and this will be find Ted Bear, one out of two. Um, and we'll basically find him quite close to the end of the game. So, <laughs> Bear Grills, Ted Bear, yes. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to ask him to prom as well. So make sure to choose the fourth option. Were well, you going to prom with me? And that will be prom number 10 out of 27. Uh, that sounds incest well, good luck out in the... Uh so what we're going to do is go through the double doors now on our right, where the kickstart starter backers are. Now we're going to get another Gotham, which is the uh, cork board, or the bulletin board on the right-hand side. Um... You actually have to click the bulletin board rather than one of the papers as well. So sometimes, again, can be a bit finicky there. We're going to go to the left of the double doors now to find some more lockers here. And it's just the same as before. So start off at the very, very bottom right-hand corner one. Press the Y button to touch it. And then spam the A button to go all the way back through. Now, providing you've done, you've gone through every single one of on the first and the second set of lockers, we will get the Locker Stalker achievement. So slam it on, baby! Ah, 
And there it is, the greatest noise in the English dictionary. The uh, rare achievement sound. So, go back through the double doors anyway, and then start heading down. And then we can just go all the way back here. Again, if the achievement didn't unlock, just go uh, go through all of these green lockers again. And the blue ones, and you should be fine then. Anyway, go to the right slightly to find the shop class, which is uh, room 105. And again, a couple of things to do in here. So the first thing we're going to do is touch the safety goggles, which are hanging on the wall directly next to us. So we'll be touching those ones, and we can get some safety goggles costume for 11 out of 69. The next, we're going to touch the circular saw in the middle of the table right there, in the middle of the room. That's the gaping wound costume, which is number 12. We're going to talk to the blowtorch at the very forefront of the screen. And that is Gotham 8 out of 40. And now we're going to talk to... Max Verstappen, Formula 1 world champion, whether Lewis Hamilton fans want to believe it or not. <laughs> um, no, we're going to talk to Max, who is the sad-looking guy in the middle of the room right here. Speak to him, and then we're going to select option 3, Max Bird room class. And then we go, anyway, we're going to select option 3 uh, in order to ask him to prom. So make sure to pick that option. There it is, really good to prom with me, and that'll be the prom 11 out of 27. Come on, man. Well, it doesn't hurt to ask. Okay, catch you later, Max. Don't talk to me like we're friends, Coop. If you've looked at my wiener when we're weeing to compare, we're friends. It's automatic. Right, grab the green cutter knife, which is, again, at the forefront of the screen, just by the blowtorch right there. That is a story-related one, and we will grab that one. Um, I will come back to it just later on. There is a reason we've grabbed it, so we're going to head back out. We're going to talk to the artist. Uh, in this hallway, we're going to ask him to prom as well. Um, I know a lot, there's a lot of artists out there who are very happy, but why are some of you like this? Oh, yes. Uh, choose the second option there, really go to prom with me. That will, of course, be number 12 out of 27. But why? Why do some artists go, Oh, yes, I'd rather squash a peanut and stick it up my rectum than uh, do something other than arting and stuffing. And I don't know why they've always got that snooty posh. Uh, English accent anyway. Right, into the art class, just below the shop class, and we're going to grab the berry, which is in the sort of black octagon thing, right here at the bottom of the screen. So make sure to touch that, and that will, you'll, you will get the beret costume, which is number 13, and now we can leave, go down the hall, right here, so go down, and we're going to enter this small hallway where hall pass is really going nuts. Jesus. <laughs> class posters, but we're going to go to the right anyway, which is the cafeteria. So, a few bits to do in here, of course. We're going to hang our last flyer, which is on the announcement board, to the left of the door where we came in. So, make sure to put that one on there. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk to Lunch Lady Doris, and we're going to ask her to prom. There she is. She's the only Lunch Lady, and again, for some reason, every Lunch Lady in TVs and films always looked like this. Bessie Galoshes, Lunch Lady Doris. Yeah, kid, I'll do it. But you gotta pay me a tenner. Um, anyway, when we ask her to prom, eventually, I accidentally, sometimes, when you just smash through the dialogue, it's easy to keep sp uh, smashing the first dialogue option out. So, obviously, just be careful with that. Anyway, will you go to prom with me? That would be number 13 out of 27. Uh, and now we're going to go to the forefront of the screen and speak to the janitor. So, again, of course, it's the B button there to speak to Mr... Dr. Jan Itor, and then ask him to prom, which is option three. Yeah, see, Scrubs, Dr. Jan Itor, they, I think they missed a trick here. They could have put that one in, lovely. Um, anyway, he just told me to F me. God damn. I'll put you to prison with that mustache. Anyway, what we're going to do now, we've got his side quest unlocked. Now we're going to go up to the door, uh, right next to the whale poster there, and grab the quarter, the coin. So we're going to grab that. Right off the windowsill, a quarter. And then what we're going to do is go and talk to the cook. Nice ass. Look like you poop your pants as well, which is always what you want in a nice uh, chef. Luigi Batali. Ask him to prom anyway, which is the fourth option again. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this game's just, it makes me laugh. So uh, that'll be 15 out of 27 for asking people to proms. And then after this, we can say, well, got to run, so the bottom option. And then what we're going to do is touch, go ahead, and fart, oh, lovely. Touch the red pot full of bones, which is to, just to the cooks right here, to get the food fight shirt costume and the food fight costume. So that'll be 14 and 15 out of 69 costumes. 
Now, uh, pig parts. Oh, just... Milk bag? That milk looks like it's a bit gone. But anyway, we're heading back. We're going to leave the kitchen, talk to Vance. Uh, Vince, sorry, who's just in front of the snack machines. Now, he's a very fussy man, which is why his name is Stingy Vince. Yes. Um, so what we need to do, select the fourth option again, which is will you go to prom with me for 16 out of 27. And then, after this, again, I accidentally just uh, kept smashing the dialogue. Um, so just be careful with that one, but choose the third option. Grab some chips. Chips are the best. Um, which is, of course, in the UK, is the proper pronunciation is, is crisps. So he wants crisps, just in case he didn't know. Um, but chips, anyway, is what we're saying to him. Now select option three again. They have anchovy chips. I don't know why, but they do. And this he basically says, right, that's a good idea, mate. In American accent. And we need another quarter. So, what you need to do, of, co of course, we've got one from the kitchen, go into your inventory, grab Stingy Vince, the, or give Stingy Vince the quarter, and what he's going to actually do is uh, give us one bag of anchovy chips, crisps, whatever. Either way, that'll be the best thing to ever happen to you on any given day, is when you put some money in a snack machine or a vendor machine, and you get double the prize. It's just, ah, oh, it's like the gods just knew. So after this, we're going to go to the right. We're going to speak to Queasy Jake, who is, of course, the guy who is holding his stomach and he's about to spew. So go ahead, speak to him. And we can't actually ask Jake here to prom, so don't worry about that. What we're going to do is uh, say the fourth option. You didn't uh, notice a note in your lunch, did you? And then what we're going to do after this bit, we can just say, see you later, regurgitator. And then we're going to give him the anchovy chips. So if you're already feeling like you're spewing after about five bags of the most disgusting sounding crisps known to man, eh, one more won't hurt. I mean, it's a sick day after all. It'll be a sick day, so all good. Right, so give him the crisps. He's going to blow his chunks. <laughs> oh, damn, that's a lot. You want to see a doctor now. Anyway, after that one, we're all good. Now we can pick up the note that Jake just threw up. It's directly in front of him. So pick it up. Now, before heading off, what we have to do is get Jake to sign it. So, rather than just going straight back to the girls' bathroom, I accidentally done this. What we need to do, that's why the spew's gone now. So, go into your inventory, get the sick note, or the sicky covered note, give it to Jake. And then he's going to sign it, and now what we can do is go all the way back to the girls' bathroom, and we can get an achievement plus complete crystal side quest. Dude, go to the doctors, go home. You don't look too well at all. I wish you could throw something at King uh, Snobhead right there, but we can't. So go to the stairs just where the janitor is. And directly in front of us, of course, we are back in the main hall. So go into the girl's bathroom. Man, she's still crying, dude. Anyway, give her the note and that will be job done. So now we can get the third wheel achievement plus complete crystal side quest. Oh yeah, and get a towel... A uh, towel hat and a body towel as well, which would be 16 and 17 costumes out of 69. So from here, we're going to leave the girls' at bathroom, and we're going to head down the hall to the left. And we're going to enter the stairway with the not an exit sign. There it is. So you've got the gym on the left there, and there's the not an exit sign. This is basically the boiler room. So a couple of things to do, an achievement, and a couple of gardens. But the first thing we're doing is grabbing the keys at the right, just at the right-hand side of the boiler. So press the white button there to grab them. And then we're going to touch the glove just above where the keys were hanging as well. So just where we grab the keys. There it is. I mean, it, if that's not an obvious Easter egg, I don't know what is. But we get Fred's hat and Fred's thread, which would be 18 and 19 out of 69. Now we're going to talk to either of the rags on the floor to get the ninth out of 40 Yarnums. If you're a bit paranoid like I was here, you can speak to both rags, but uh, one should suffice. So that'll be two costumes, the keys, and either of the rags there with the Yarnums. So now we can just head out, and we're going to head directly left and go into the gym. Sea Slugs versus Bumble Bears. Oh man, it's so funny. Right, just head to the right ever so slightly. We're going to see, and sometimes it's very easy to do this, mind. Uh, just accidentally go back out and back down. But go to the right. We're going to see the rope. What we need to do then is use the green box cutter that we grabbed from shop class earlier on. We're going to use that on the rope. And that is going to get us the rope-a-dope achievement. After we pick it up, of course. So, you know, pick it up. There it is. 
Right, so we picked that up. We got a hell of a backpack, by the way. Pick it up, and then we're going to head into the boys' locker room, which is just de uh, di directly on the right. That's what I was trying to say. And we're just going to get a couple of proms. <laughs> so, well, welcome to every boys' locker room, pretty much. If you're, a, if you're a girl and you're wondering what goes on in boys' locker rooms, pretty much this. Uh, but we're going to speak to Winston, the guy with glasses. You need to speak to him three times in order to ask him the prom. So, you've already spoken to him twice, so speak to him a third time, and a Koopa will automatically ask. And that will be 17 out of 27 for prom. Then go ahead and speak to <laughs> Tanner Hyde. <laughs> it just writes itself. Uh, Tanner Hyde? Tanner Hyde. Fantastic. Anyway, sp uh, choose the third option. Will you go to prom with me? That'll be 18 out of 27. And for some reason, this next one is my is my favourite. I, lo I genuinely lost my crap at this one. Um, again, you don't have to choose the first dialogue option. I just made that by mistake. Go over to the guy showering and ask him to prom. And his name is Hayden Shoulders. <laughs> Hayden Shoulders. And that's why I'm not going through the dialogue, because I was laughing. So, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Hayden Shoulders. Ah. Oh. Anyway, that will be uh, prom number 19, so make sure that you've spoken to all three boys in here and asked them all to go to prom, so that should be 17, 18, and 19. We'll leave Tanner Hyde and Aiden Shoulders alone. Right, <laughs> that's nice of us. Right, so from here, back in the gym. Sorry, compose. Compose yourself. Right, back in the gym. We're going to touch the box of sports equipment right in the back left of the room where it says, well, that looks like NHS to me. Uh, but that's going to give us a hockey mask and a bloody shirt. I wonder what that means. Um, now we are going to touch Biff, who is the guy with the red hair and the dodgeball. The only guy with red hair right there. To get a hockey... Um, to get the beat-up face costumes. You should get 20, 21 and 22 costumes. Next, we're going to uh, talk to the Narwhal banner, just above the girls' locker room there. So make sure to talk to that one. And that is going to be the 10th out of 40. Got him! There we go, and then the left section of seats, or um, just by the uh, dodgeballs right there, uh, talk to them to get another garum. So that should be 10 and 11. So the narwhal banner and the seats we are by, 10 and 11 garums, plus the uh, three costumes as well. So 20, 21, and 22 should be on. Now what we have to do is change our outfit. So press the right bumper. Now go uh, to towel hat and body towel. So it's very important. This apparently this is the only way you can get in through a girl's locker room. Don't take this advice literally of course. Don't put a towel and a hat on and then speak in a dainty little flowery voice. Because funnily enough it wouldn't work in real life. But there's the body towel and towel hat. Now we can go into the girl's locker room on the left. And when we enter we'll get the creepy peepee -pee boy achievement. Hello, my name is the Welsh Hunter. Because, of course, that's my real name. Right, speak to Nora, the only girl here in the towel. And uh, what she's going to do is give us the narwhal jersey costume. So you can't... Nora nose powder. Um, you can't uh, ask her to prom or anything. She just gives us the narwhal jersey. Now what we're going to do is talk to the naked, quote-unquote, girl in the shower. Um, oh, God damn, who washes themselves vigorously like that? I do, I do. Um, and as it turns out, this is just hilarious again. Uh, it's, um, we get the come and clean achievement for finding Senor a clean fist. It's just funny that he put himself, or looked like he was putting himself as a lady to do that. Right. So, compose yourself again. We're going to get the come and clean achievement there and the sudsy boy costume, which is 24 out of 69. So now we can leave the rock locker room and the gym. We won't be coming back in here at all now, so we're going to go back down, so just past the seats right here, go down, and we're going to go all the way down the hall, talk to Sawyer, let her know we've hung out the flyers, that's going to get us the Gorilla Marketer achievement. we just seen a naked clean fist. <laughs> so she tells us to go ahead and talk to the librarian, but what we're going to do is go... Down the hall to the right, sorry I went the wrong way, that's the left, what I meant to do was go right, uh, to the janitor's closet. Because of course we've got a key, so there's the janitor's closet, just by the faculty offices, use the key on the door, and sneak your way in. And of course, because we're a dainty little flower, we're going to keep our towel, hat and towel, 
um, on our body. Right, in the janitor's closet, we're going to pick up the pulley on the counter. So, uh, just grab that one. Pretty obvious with the pulley, the little wheel type thing is. Now, we're going to open our inventory. And then, what you have to do, you've got to select the pulley by pressing the A button. And just drag it over to the rope. Press the A button again. That combines that. Lovely. And then, what we're going to do is leave the closet. Because that's all we need from here. We're not going to find any stacks of giant porn or anything. Snoo, snoo. Uh, we're going to leave the closet. We're going to enter the faculty office to the right. And then, what we're going to do is give the lunch label... To old Patty right here. Old Krabby Patty. So give her the lunch label. And then what she's going to do. The dialogue is hilarious on this bit as well. Right. And you say Ms. Puppy. Yes ma'am. That fucking bitch. She's going to eat my goddamn yogurt. Unfucking believable I'm learning a lot about. The so if you piss off an old person enough. She um, will beat the crap out of you. Just a little bit of good life advice there. So don't piss off old people. Um, they'll run you down. Right, go outside. After this, we'll get the Pummelin Puffs achievement. We're going to head back outside. Now we can finish up a couple of side quests. We're going to go and give the drug dealer the Scar Cream, which, of course, we got from the nurse earlier on. So give the drug dealer the Scar Cream, and we're going to get the Weed Shirt costume, which will be the 25th out of 69. By the way, I've got to laugh that it is 69 that we've got to... Um, <laughs> 69 costumes that we've got to find, because that's always funny. Right, so that's the weed shirt costume and the Scarlet for Life achievement. Now we're going to go back inside, and we're going to give Marker the Mark. Marker the Mark? We're going to give Mark the Marker to unlock half the Magic Dragon, and get... And basically get a costume, which, if you were younger, and you went to, like, house parties and stuff, and you passed out first, this is the costume that you would end up wearing at the end of the night. A dick face. Yeah. So, we get half the Magic Dragon achievement and the Dick Face costume. Ah, oh, brings back many memories. I don't know if they're good or bad, but whatever. So, we go into the hallway just below the janitor's closet into the shop class, and that is where we go in. So, go back to uh, room 105, which is shop class. Well, stop screwing around back there. How many times have I told to stop screwing around? Now, if anyone knows what that's from, please let me know, because <laughs> it's always a fun quote. But what we're going to do then, we are going to use the rope and pulley with the hook just above the desk there on the right hand side. So pop that one on. Hey, what I told you? Stop screwing around. Uh, so we automatically pop that one on. Now what we need to do is touch the lever just uh, Coop's big fat ginger head is hiding the lever. There it is. So touch the lever. Um, and what we're going to do then is pick up the book that was stuck under the desk. We are actually now coming up to the end. Uh, this is basically the longest section of the game. The rest are not too bad at all. So pick up the book there. Finally, I have the carpentry book. I better return this to the librarian before she breaks... Right, so from here what we can do, we're going to go out of the door on the left. And we're going to go back downwards. And where Holly Old Hall Monitor is, we're going to go down again into the library. Now, we're going to be grabbing yet another missable achievement. So, what we have to do is select a bookshelf. Any bookshelf, press the X button. We're going to finally choose the X button to look at it. Now, not on this bookshelf that I've picked right here, but on the ones just to the left on the screen where it says semi-fiction. Or semi-fiction. Uh, whatever the hell you, you are coming from. Uh, press the A button and then the X button. Now, we will get up to like eight or nine titles, something like that. You don't have to keep going up and down like I do. You can just stay in the middle of the bookshelf and keep spamming the A and the X button. Um, basically, until the option to uh, look at it is grayed out. So, just keep spamming it for now. So, what we have to do is learn about 30 different book titles. Again, all funny, so have a look at them if you want. But if you just want the achievement as quick as you can, as you can see there, the option is now greyed out, which means it's just going back to the beginning, so we're not learning anything else. So, just go to the next bookshelf, and then the next bookshelf where it says non-fiction on the left, until the judge a book by its cover, achievement unlocks. 11, 10,000, 250, great ex of my, dragon, Diana, the kicks, Mr. Square sheep, I swear, leave me alone, those pop, climate change, tofu t one ply, I always, a catheter, the theory of, energy, 
making a spider Walt waking seam shoot twice sixth beginner but wait correlate sign up don't sm going it's up the subtle things ventrilo so when the sexiest sound ever unlocks, right there, the old rare achievement, what we're going to do is get three costumes and two garums. And the first one we're going to do is speak to Rich, the guy in the grey hoodie between both bookshelves. Now after you do speak to him, he's going to get us the boob dude shirt costume, which of course is, uh, I mean, every every virgin wears one of them, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love boobs. <laughs> uh, next, we're going to talk... We're actually going to talk to the non-fiction bookshelf sign and talk to the books on the non-fiction shelf for two godums. So the non-fiction sign and the non-fiction books, you have to speak to both of them to get two godums. That should be 12 and 13. Now we're going to touch the Winston the Worm books on the counter, which is just in front of the room right there, just to the left of the non-fiction books, to get a Winston shirt. And finally, touch the left computer to get the VR headset costume. The white computer right there. And there we go. So, remember that should be costume 27, 28, and 29 out of 69. And two Gotham's, the 12 and 13 one non-fiction bookshelf sign and the books on the non-fiction shelf. Right, go ahead and you're gonna actually got to speak to the librarian first. She's a sassy little bumdersnatch. Uh, so, uh, we, we are finally almost done with this bit, finally. It's only taken about an hour. Um, but just keep spamming through the dialogue for now, and then eventually what she's going to do is ask us to find a Lost Carpentry book, which of course we know, because we've already got it. My knees! Those lucky for you. I have a little deal. We're missing a very important carpet. Sounds like I don't have- You don't. <sighs> okay, since it's not in the library. And after the conversation is done, go ahead and just speak to her again. Give her the book that we have found. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't steal it. Just because I don't wear normal clothes like a person and I've got a dick in my face doesn't mean I steal carpentry books. Okay. Yeah, judgmental. Anyway, we, after this one, we will finally get the About Damn Time Achievement. She gives us a coupon for a free pizza, which is actually a pretty sweet deal. I'll give her that. Then we can go to the door to the left. And now we are done. Uh, we can, uh, obligations can eat our shite, apparently. Job done. Well... Now it's time to go home, get our free pizza, yo. So if you can, don't go back into the library. Uh, but all we're going to do is just head all the way to the right and get ourselves out of here. Mark is looking deliriously happy with that, so I'm glad we could help out. So let's just go down, exit the school, head right, and we're going to enter Knothole Street. Now, these next couple of sections are extremely a lot shorter. So, you know, we don't have, like, the school was almost an hour long there. Trinity Boulevard, Not Hall Street, all the rest of them are going to be nice and quick. Quicklier. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. So, first thing we're going to do then. Um, we are going to choose a different costume. Uh, I'm going to put suds over my genitalia and nips. And I think I end up just wearing the uh, Jason mask. Yeah, pretty much. So, no more dick face. Um, I'm just going to go along with um, sudsy body and a nice Jason mask, which... Of course, is uh, it just gets everyone horny that one. <laughs> Trust me, it's a it's a good look. It's a very good look. So when we are done anyway, let us start heading to the right. And the first thing we're going to do is head down and talk to Jimmy Hat, this guy right here, just by the gas station sign. So he's going to give us a side quest, and we're going to get an achievement at the end of it as well. So co-op, we will talk to Jimmy Hat, and what you're going to say is ask him to prom. So let's choose the third option first. Who are you taking to prom? Uh, so that will already be number 20 then out of 27. And uh, accidentally choose the first option there. But to get his uh, side quest going, we need to choose the second option, which is obviously, how can I help? And he's going to want some condom because obviously someone as good looking as this obviously um, gets consensual sexual relations, doesn't he? Yes. Someone who looks like that with a moustache. If you've got a moustache like that, of course I'm not tarring you all under the same brush. But uh, there have just been a few instances where guys with moustaches like that end up in prison for whatever reason. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. 
We are going to grab the pink book, just there, just above the other side, next to the Circle J shop. We're going to grab that pink book. That will come in, uh, in handy for a side quest and achievement later on. Pawn for the blind. Yes, that will definitely come in handy. So grab the pink book and then touch the dumpster to get the slurper costume. So, of course, pressing the Y button there to touch. Make sure you touch that dumpster. So you should get the pawn pink book and the dumpster, the slurper costume. Number 30 out of 69, by the way. So, heading inside, a couple of things that we're going to do. We're going to grab one, two, three, four, five Gotham's. And we're going to get another costume as well. So, first thing that we're going to do. Where Coop is standing right now is the yellow packet of Midas condoms. So, we are actually going to grab them first. And then, we're going to grab a Slurper cup. So, he's given us $1.14. Which, as you can see, the Super, sl super Slurper on the right-hand side is only $1. So, we need to use our creativity. So, grab a Slurper cup. And then what we can do is open up our inventory. Eventually, there we go. Put the condoms inside the Slurper Cup. Now, of course, we're obviously make it, we're making this not obvious at all. So pop that in. Um, and then we can use the Cup of the Old Condomonies on the Super Slurper. So there's the Cup of Condomonies. Put them onto the Super Slurper. And we fill that up lovely. Thereby pretty much rendering the condoms useless. If the condoms are as cheap as they probably are. Right, so with that one done, now what we're going to do is get a couple of the Godums. Now the first thing we're going to do is talk to these Slurper Lids. This can be very, very finicky. Um, now remember, if it doesn't say Gotham at the end, it hasn't counted. So you obviously need to get the one where it says Gotham. So obviously just keep that one in mind because, again, a couple of these can be quite finicky. But the Super Slurper Cups, of the Lids are just in between, right above, right there, right above the sort of first, the left-hand side cups, just above there. So grab them, then talk to the uh, door under the slurper machine for Gotham number 15. Next, go to the magazine rack on the right for the next Gotham's, which will be number 16. Now, what we're supposed to do is give uh, the cashier, Mr. Kurt, the slurper and condoms combo, but we're actually just going to speak to him first very quickly. Um, yeah, you need to wait until he's in actual proper view in order for it to work. Uh, but speak to him, of course, ask him if he will go to prom with us. And that will be, uh, number 21 out of 27. So after speaking to him, also we're going to get a costume off him as well. So we have to ch choose the very top option, why are you dressed as a fox? And that will be the Furry Ears costume 31. So that's prom 21 out of 27 and costume 31 out of 69. So again... Press the right bumper, make sure you've got 31, the same as me. Then we can go into our inventory and give Kurt the condoms, the, the condoms, and the slurper combo. Thank you for coming to Circle J. Huh, no problem. And for the final two Gotham's, we're going to touch the $5 credit card sign on the counter. There it is. It can be kind of hard to tell, but obviously just make sure it says Gotham at the end of the dialogue right there. So that's the $5 one. And then we need to touch the energy drinks on the counter, which is directly in front of where Kurt's standing right there. So that should be number 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All five Gotham's. And then we can just move on. So remember, it's the lids, the door under the slurper machine, the magazine rack on the right, the credit card sign, and the energy drinks. Right, when we're back outside... We are going to give Jimmy the Slurper and Condom combo. We're going to get the Condom Hat costume. Because obviously that's what you want to do. That is how you pull the ladies. You put a condom on your head. And they will be... <laughs> moister than an oyster. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just know so many people who don't like that saying. Which makes it funnier. So we got the Condom Hat. And the achievement called Don't Slurp That. Okay, so from here, what we can do... Uh, I mean, I am such a ladies man right now. Hmm. Now we can go to, down towards the gas station here. Now we're going to touch the board of tools on the right hand side to get the oily face... <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. To get the oily face costume and the tool belt costume. Then we're going to talk to the same board of tools to get the next Gotham. So that's 33 and 34 out of 69 costumes, 19 out of 40 Gotham's. Talk to the stack of tyres right next to you for the next Gotham, which is 20 out of 40. <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me. I've just, uh, <laughs> rotted flaps. I've just, um, coughed my rotted flaps up, to be honest. <clears throat> Alright. 
So go towards the leaf blowers on the left for the next Gotham. Talk to them for Gotham 21 out of 40. And then we can just head up and keep heading right. And we're going to keep going right until we find Shark Dad. Now he's pretty obvious because he is a shark who is standing right there. So <clears throat> we can go across the street. We're going to get a missable achievement. And we're going to get a couple of sh uh, costumes as well. So we need to touch Shark Dad with the Y button to get the Shark Rad shirt and the Shark Rad shirt. Uh, or the Shark Rad hat, sorry. So that's 35 and 36. Talk to the hose just to the right of Shark Dad for Gotham 22 out of 40. And finally, for this area, we are going to talk to our neighbor, Mr. Dad. So speak to him. <clears throat> Remember to select option three first, which is ask him to prom. Now that would be a sensational. <laughs> that would be a sensational thing to happen in prom. So speak to him about prom. That's 22 out of 27. Now we can just select the first and second dialogue option in order to get the get to know shark dad achievement. So did you lose something? And then the next one, out of curiosity, where are you from? And that should be that. There we go. So obviously, top left-hand corner, you'll know when you've unlocked an achievement. So, well, life will be grande. <coughs> so, after this one, we can just nip off. Oh, what's, what's wrong with me, Shark Dad? By the way, he had such a squeaky voice for a shark. I expected more, oh no, for some reason. I don't know why, but still. Heading off to the right... Now, when we get to this sort of um, zebra crossing right here, talk to the zebra crossing to get the next Gotham. That'll be Gotham 23 out of 40, but you have to do it with that particular crossing. The other one won't work, so just make sure that you've spoken to that. Oh, sorry, zebra crossing. Cross, crosswalk um, for the next Gotham. Then we can head up, <clears throat> and this is Trinity Boulevard. So another little small area, but we've got quite a bit to do on it. So, here is Trinity Boulevard. Again, these little streets and stuff are easy enough and short enough, so we're all good. So, as soon as I've um, stopped showing you the map in the nether regions, what we're going to do is head up and slightly to the right, and we're going to see an ice cream man, Dr. Chill. Definitely a villain. Definitely not a villain, of course. Hmm. Anyway, all you have to do for this bit, then, is just speak to Dr. Scoop ten times. And uh, to do that, we will get a, obviously just press the A and B button ten times until we get the chill out achievement, and we get the ice cream costume as well. So you should get the ice cream costume first before getting the achievement. So just keep going until the chill out achievement unlocks. Really? Sure, Coop. You're a team. Uh, <laughs> it's no. You mean no? I'm, I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs> Your loss. So what else you got? Sure is a s actually. How about sounds good? I've got a s suntan. You betcha. Uh, I don't think my guts. What if you? G I'll take my. All right. One scoop of coop coming right up. So what else? Hmm. What's that? Tomato. Tomato. Sure. Uh. So say. Sure. Couldn't agree. Oh. Oh, that's. A I'm sure. So what else? Ever feel? Yeah. That I know exactly. What is that exactly? I melt the. Uh. Oh, you kid. So, how about a what the flavor weird? A sick, or I'm gonna. So, wanna tr that's a it's both. Well, the name to be and ready, ready. Oh, 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 oh. Lovely rare achievement unlocks once more. So, that's the chill out achievement and the 37th costume done. Go ahead and speak to Stevie Shades, the guy with the dog who is blind as hell. We're gonna speak to him now. We need to choose option four, we can't ask him to prom so. Nay panic about um, Charles Bronson. Look alike, we're just gonna choose the fourth option. Is there anything I can do to help? <clears throat> is there I can do to now, all he wants is a bit of porn. And luckily for us, we picked it up earlier for some reason. There was a blind porn book just chilling. We got that just opposite the gas station, um, just by Circle J. So, obviously, if you somehow missed that, that's where it is. So, we can just say, okay, see you later. Since I assume you haven't missed it. <laughs> Blind jokes. Oh, blind people are funny when they try and guilt trip people into having a laugh. Anyway, give him the pink book, which should be the first one in your inventory, and that is going to complete the side quest already, and <laughs> hilariously get the achievement called Blue Brails. Oh, we've all had Blue Brails. Twice in our life. A lot of twice. So, after this bit then, uh, the dog is just randomly going to attack the mailman. Um... 
I suppose that's what happened when blind people watch watch porn. The, the, the dog goes nuts and attacks everyone. We will automatically grab the stamp, so don't worry about missing that. You cannot. And we're going to grab a few costumes here. So, we're going to touch the bank. Not the bank sign. Don't touch the bank sign because we can't reach it, as you will see. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey. So, yeah, you can't touch the bank sign, but if you go ahead and just touch the actual bank itself... Um, then we will get the rubber mask and the rubber shirt costume. There they are. So that'll be costume 38 and 39 out of 69. Plus, what we can do is now touch the mailbox to get the paper cut face costume and the paper cut body. So that should be uh, costume 40 and 41 out of 69. <clears throat> right, head left. And just where the hobo guy is, there is a little bin, a little trash can. We're going to touch that to get the sad clown onesie costume. That should be number 42 out of 69. And if we head just left to the little bit, we can already see a lemonade stand. And we're going to talk to Lemon Abe Simpson. <coughs> Excuse me again. God. Yeah. Yeah. All this talking's no good for a fat man. <coughs> So, what we're going to do then is ask her, of course, to go to prom with us first. That is going to be the 23rd out of 27 people who want to go to prom. Or we've attempted to go to prom. Now, to get the achievement called Your Lemon Suck, we need to select option 3. As soon as it comes up, there it is. So, option 3. One glass, please. And I said, hey, have you got any grapes? Um, and then as soon as the second option, uh, or as soon as the dialogue options come back... We're going to choose the second option. So, there it is. Ooh, I'm in one uh, pre-ordered glass of lemonade. Grapes, please. That'll be 25 cents. A dollar 20. What purpose does that... It's just to complicate the trans... Well, let me uncomplicate this transaction. You could put my lemonade on... Le oh, no. Th Can I just have that? Mm, no. You really made this as complicated... That's business for you. And that is how you get the Your Lemon Suck achievement. Now, basically, you cannot ever be called Abe um, without being reminded that you are Abraham Simpson forever and ever. So, just keep that one in mind. Obviously, make sure that you have asked her to prom first. Otherwise, you will have missed out and you will miss out on the achievement. So, just keep that in mind. Right, talk to the Red Fire Hydrant just to the left of us to get the 24th out of 40 Gotham's. Now, talk to Chicken Man Jones. Pretty obvious which one Chicken Man Jones is. Yep, the guy in a chicken costume. Makes sense. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to um, choose option four when it really pops up. So, what's a fella got to do to score a costume like that? See, now I can rap. And I don't give a crud. Nuts. Anyway, after option four, we can then choose option one. <clears throat> Mother Clucker. There we go. Sure, I can swing that. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can swing all two inches of it. Well done. So, anyway, we get now get the side quest called Mother Cluck and Master. Uh, but we're not going to... We, we'll come back to that in a minute. Go into the restaurant, Le Deliparté. Um, and then what we're going to see is an angry-looking woman in pink. Blonde, there she is. Lovely. So, what we have to do, make sure to speak to her first. This is very important, otherwise you'll miss out on another prom bit. Make sure to speak to the janitor's wife, or ex-wife, sorry. Fourth option, will you go to prom with me? And then that will be number 24 to 27. If you complete the side quest before doing this, um, then you would have missed out. And again, you'll have to restart the game or your latest save. Um, so after that, just obviously make sure you've done that. So I'll be asking it to prom 24 to 27. Don't worry about any other dialogue options. I've done that accidentally. Uh, what we can do, we can just... Get out of here, stop talking to her, and there's going to be a scrambled receipt ticket just to the right, just by the kitchen door. So, make sure to grab that. And then what we need to do is go into our inventory, take it from our inventory, and place it on the order wheel in the kitchen window. So, it should be the very first one in your inventory again. Put it in the order wheel. Job done. Now, I'm just going to leave you with this next cutscene, because I, again, absolutely... Normally I'd skip the cutscenes, but this time I creased it. And here you are, sir. Your plate of dicks. Bon appetit. Whoa, looking good. Mmm. What? That... That gross plate of... Of dicks? Delicious. Uh, when I started dating a man who's constantly looking at himself in the mirror, I had no idea he'd be so full of himself. And now this is what you order? 
I knew men only had one thing on their mind. I just assumed it was their own. I hope you and your plate of dicks are happy. God, I made a mistake. Dating sucks. I might as well go back to what's comfortable instead of trying to find what makes me happy. I'm going back to my ex-husband. Now, wasn't that just damn hilarious? It's the dicks that got me absolutely rolling. So, when we're done here, we can actually head back outside. Now, the janitor, for some reason, is going to be mopping the uh, concrete. Okay, sounds good. But in order for the achievement we need to unlock, we have to go and speak to the janitor. I thought the achievement was going to unlock uh, pretty much straight away. As it turns out, no. we got to speak to the janitor first. Um... And that will unlock the Marriage Counselor achievement. So that is how you do that. If you wanted to take one of the dicks, then of course you could have for future sake. Saints Row done it. Battering cops with a bunch of dildos. Same thing could have applied. But anyway, we got the achievement. We also get the Dirty Coop hat and Dirty Coop costume. 43 and 44. Now we can go to the right and go into, <laughs> go into Rod's <laughs> Thick Pizza. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to actually look at Rod. Now, here is a man who <laughs> somehow sleeps with 16-year-olds and gets away with it. Uh, look at Rod, anyway, by pressing the X button, and you will get the chest hair costume. Now, what we have to do is just give him now a free pizza coupon, and we will get the Ready for Rod achievement. And that will be the end of that. Also, I've just noticed, on the very right-hand side, there's a nice bit of a meat and two veg. Very, very great sign, uh, on uh, just paid onto the Italian flag there. La no, what the hell is he doing to my pizza? Hey, hey, Rod! Rod! That's not a 16-year-old girl, Rod! Uh... Well, there's some extra sauce on that, but, uh, well, wait, well, I guess we'll be seeing you in prison, you perv. Oh, sorry, I, I'm not saying everyone who looks like this is the same, but of course, but, uh, you know, definitely uh, creepy characteristics there. So, with that one done, we can now head back to our house, basically. So, head down, and then just head, obviously, to the left, go, and then just keep going to the left, and then what's going to happen, there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene, and we'll automatically pick up the empty pizza box and head inside our house. Ah, shit! Well, 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 look... Well, that was gross. Anyway, my lovely Sawyer, now that we're alone... Uh, hey, third party, right in front of you- Shut the fuck up, Smegma Breath! Now that we're alone, I'd be- That chance, Kent. I'll be at prom, but strictly as a reporter. That's what you think, the Damn it! No sta- Face it, Sawyer, the only way into the dance is to give in to your dis- Actually- Coop, you fuck- uh, Me? Oh, I get it. You're playing hard to get to it. Uh... Meow. I'll pick out a nice slow song for us to dance closely to when you go with me to- <laughs> Wasn't that your bike? Oh, yeah. How'd you know I didn't have a date? Um, I didn't even know you- Aw, oh, of course I like you. And anyway, did you see how pissed- <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry about that snooty prick. You gotta stick up- You think? Cause last week I tweeted, Kent can sometimes be in- Oh, I heard about that. I miss- Yeah, well, you're on your own tomorrow, pal. I'm- Cool, yeah. I am so screwed. Ah, Coop! You're home! Hey, Graham. You sure are full of- I've had such a wonderful day! <sighs> That my, my, my! You sh <sighs> Was it those bullies? Please don't. Last time you helped, you only made it worse. Now- What? Are you- No, Graham, it's just- <sighs> Oh, sure, I've heard lo- Yeah, but- Oh, oh, or you can't turn a hoe into a housewife- <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Graham. Cheer up, Coop. I know you like help- Sure, Grandma. I'll- t So, if you ever wondered what a ginger loser's um, uh, two-inch donged uh, wiener bag's room looks like, well, this is pretty much it. 
pretty much like what my room used to look like. So, first thing to do, we're going to touch the... <laughs> that's sad. Touch the Psionic Pastive poster on the left-hand side to get the Psionic hat costume and shirt costume. which uh, The hat and shirt, which will be 46 and 47 out of 69. We're going to touch the dresser drawer to get the WoW shirt costume for 48 out of 69. And then we're going to talk to the box on the desk, uh, just to where the pen is, to get the Gotham 25 out of 40. There, yeah, hilarious co-op. Well done, well done, pal. And after that, we're just going to grab the red pen, just where the box was, touch that to pick it up. And we're going to keep that in our back and packing. Otherwise, that's all we're going to do in co-op room right now. We can just head out. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do, we are going to look at touch and talk to the picture of Jesus in the top right corner of the screen just uh, to the right of the middle door now I'm not sure if you uh, can just look at it and it counts or if it touches and it counts not sure which one actually works but as long as we just look at touch and talk so X Y and B to the picture of Jesus that'll be one out of four uh, for an achievement later on for now we're gonna go into the middle room which is the bathroom and we're going to touch the shower curtain now to get the nude coop costume. Now there is an achievement for wearing the nude costume basically for 10 minutes. So I highly advise uh, just putting it on now and just keep playing the game until it unlocks. Because later on there's going to be a point of no return where you can't use it. And of course if you miss it you have to come all the way back through here and it's a pain in the ass. So we are just go... <laughs> Look at me! Yeah, funniest shit I ever seen. Look at me, I'm on a body. I'm not a pickle anymore. Oh, sexy nurse costume look good. So there is the nude one anyway. Basically, nips and a I mean that that's not a black bar. That's um he got castrated. And again, you can do what you want with your hair. I'm just making him look blonde and beautiful. <clears throat> but as long as you've got the nude costume on like it is right now, we we need for an achievement to wear this for 10 minutes. So, touch the dirty clothes bin on the left to get the 50th costume, which is the shower cap. And then that is that. So again, from here, get yourself nude. Just wait until the freaky flasher achievement unlocks, basically. So what we're going to do is go into the right room, which is our grandma's room. Touch the bin of yarn on the very left. Yarn, wool, whatever you want to call it, to get the ugly knit hat costume. Uh, again, just touch that, so there'll be uh, the ugly knit hat for 51 out of 69. We're going to talk to the Ottoman, which is basically the big seat. Uh, that is for the uh, Gorham, 26 out of 40. And then just to the right of that is the cane, which we're going to grab before leaving Grandma Grandmama's room. Now, there's something about Grandma which you will probably make you sick um, a little bit later on. Well, we're going to find out, of course. Don't assume she's just a nice old lady. She a horn dog. So now we're going to go to the left, go downstairs into the living room. And now we're going to talk to the coat stand just by the front door. That's for the next Gotham. So literally by the front door, just to the left of the pictures right there. Now, again, you have to make sure that it says Gotham. So sometimes you may accidentally talk to the coat and not the coat stand. So make sure you, you talk to the coat stand and that he said got him at the end. That's number 27. Going through the archway here on the right, we need to pick up the matches on the table <coughs> in this room. So there they are. Make sure to pick up the matches. And then we can keep continuing right to enter the garage. Oh, la -dee da Mr. Frenchman. What do you call it? A car hole. Uh, right. In the garage, we're going to touch the hat with a propeller, which is just next to the shovel here. There it is. So that is for the hat buddy costume, 52 out of 69. Then we're going to talk to the green bag near the table to the right. There it is on the floor for the next Gotham. That's 28 out of 40. Before we can leave the garage, go back into the living room and head up to go to the kitchen. So, when we are in the kitchen, we are going to touch the left upper cabinets to get a pretty apron costume. That's going to be 53 out of 69. Next, we're going to talk to the freezer drawer for the next Gotham. So, speak to them, of course, with the B button, as you know. That'll be 29 out of 40. Gottams. Hilarious. Now, we can actually open up the refrigerator and pick up the fruity roll inside. Now, this is another bit of a finicky thing. 
Um, you have to sort of press the A button, sort of around the, sort of just to the bottom left of where the fruity roll is. You can tell which one it is because it's the green thing sticking out in the middle. But if you go down, sort of bottom left, just a little bit, uh, that is how it will work. Um, <laughs> not the freezer. Yeah, it can be kind of finicky to get it absolutely dead on. Kind of annoying in a way, but there we go. So if you go just to the left of it, that will work. So touch that to pick it up. And now we can go back into the living room. We're going to speak to our grandmama. Man, them, bo them boy bitches are looking, uh... Well, they've seen better years, but like I said, in a minute, um... Well, I say in a minute now... Grandmama has more snack rolls than we do. Depressing. Right, so say, how can I help Grandma? The fourth option. Wrong with the printer. It's probably just out of ink. There's my little superhero. Oh, come on. Two chores. Come on, Coop. Fair enough. I'd better get started. Thanks, honey. By the way, Bernie's coming by at nine tonight, so don't come around. One second. My brain is repressing this conversation from a... Fix the printer. Got it. Thanks for helping. And now we can back out of this and go upstairs. Now remember, I've said in other videos, think of your nan naked and stuff, but this time they're taking it to a whole goddamn new level. I don't even have to say anything this time. And we're going to think about everyone's nan doing stuff. Hey, anyway. So, upstairs, open your inventory, grab the cane, and then we're going to use it on the string on the top right-hand corner right, here, uh, right there, coming from the ceiling. We're going to pull down some stairs, and we're going to head up into the attic. So, we are going to touch the rocking horse for the baby clothes costume. So, there it is, that horse looking like it's, <laughs> like it's, um, uh, had a few of the yum yum pills. Uh, so, that's costume 54. We're going to touch the filing cabinet just to the right of it for the afro wig and costume 55. And now we're going to touch the box on the chair to get the Hawaiian shirt. So, the box on the chair right there, just to the right, that is a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, that horse really looks, uh, that needs a hospital, man. That needs destroying. Now, what we can do is we should now grab the box of fireworks, which is just underneath that same chair. So make sure to grab them. So the fireworks are all done. Now we can talk to the ladder, just be just to our left for the next garden, which would be number 30. And then we can talk to the box of cyanide and happiness dolls just at the forefront of the screen for 31 out of 40 gardens. Plus, this is where my Freaky Flasher achievement unlocked. If it hasn't unlocked yet for you, just keep playing because it'll just unlock on its own. Anyway, you have to do it for 10 minutes, so that's why. Um, otherwise, what we can do now is open our inventory, use the fruity roll, which of course is like the green cigarette paper looking stuff, and use it in the break in the black wire just on the floor. That is going to fix it and give us the achievement called Printer Pal. So, job done. But we're not going to head down yet. We're going to keep moving to the right, and we're going to exit through the attic window. Uh, we're basically up on the roof where all the wasps are now. So, let's just go down the ladder first, <clears throat> and we're going to talk to the water spigot, which is basically the water hose, just to the left of the ladder. Um, speak to that, and that is the next garden, which is number 32 out of 40. <clears throat> so that is exactly where you should be. should be on the same one as me by now. Pick up the oven mitts just to the right of you. And now we can head back into the kitchen. Eventually, there we go. Right, so heading back into the kitchen, we're going to head into the living room and talk to Grandmama. She's going to ask us to take care of them wasps. Because she's getting all horny and stuff. Mmm, delicious. You need me to water your fly? It's swarming with wasps. I can't. Okay, but who? You'll be moving wasps. But until... How am I even so You should be able to read the attic again? I hate going up. I guess it's- Thanks, dearie. Let me- Alright, so since we don't have a choice, we are going to have to do this. So what we're going to do, we're going to head into the kitchen and back out through the double doors. Uh, open. We're going to open up our inventory. And then we're going to put the fireworks on the grill and then the matches on the grill. So they kind of look like a uh, little mini mints or something, mini Oreos. Uh, so put the fireworks on, then we're going to use the matches on them. And then we're going to go back up the ladder to the rooftop. We're also going to get another achievement for getting rid of the wasps, so this is a story related one. Uh, head back up the ladder anyway, all nude and all mega one and a half inches of you, of course. There it is, come in. 
And then what we can do is just use, uh, open up your inventory, use the oven mitts on the wasp nest to unlock a cutscene and the My Girl achievement. And it's going to come up eventually. So anyway, just keep heading down. There it is. So head down. Um, we are going to report back to a grandmama. And she's going to ask us to deliver some pictures. Now, you probably don't want to look at them. But you can look at them if you want. I'm not going to look at them just yet. I will leave that surprise for you. If you want to do it now. That I'll show you um, a little bit later on anyway. Because it's just... It's, it's beautiful. It's a... Uh, Really lovely sight. Definitely doesn't make you want to chop your own wiener off, to be honest. So, um, right, she's asking us to deliver these pictures to someone at the retirement home, but we've got a few things to do first. So, let's head out, and we're going to head to the left, and then what we need to do is go all the way to the left until we see a pink house with a guy sitting just outside it. So, past the circle J, past the guy... There he is. So the guy's sitting just outside the pink house. Um, we can now just go up to, so press the A button there to nip up to him. And we've got a flypaper on the left-hand side, which we need to grab, or we can speak to him first. So you can give the food or the receipt from the mother clucking chicken to this guy. And he's going to ask us some questions. Now, the first one is fine. You can choose any option. So don't panic. I just choose the first option the first time around. We're going to have to work some things out. Which came first? Um, the chicken. Ha! He thinks the chicken This time, for the next dialogue option, make sure to choose option one. Um, maybe God. Ah, the classic God. Next, choose option one again. I think God created God. I think God created God. Your argument is falling apart, kid. Next up, choose the second option. Look, I don't pretend to comprehend all of his ins and outs of the universe for... That one. And then for the uh, fifth question, we can just choose anyone. So again, I just choose the top dialogue, uh, whatever it is. And he's going to be happy enough with that. And that is actually going to unlock the chicken coop achievement for getting the credit card signature um, of Mr. Anth Rope. <clears throat> so there we go. We've got, the, we've got what we wanted. He's happy. We're all happy. We get the achievement. Make sure to grab the fly paper from the left-hand side of the door. The big sort of, well... Paper with bits of flies on it. Yeah, so make sure to grab that. We're going to need that for a lot later on. Or in a bit later on. Because we're not we're not too far from the end of the game, really. Come, we are coming close up to it now. Um, right, so with that one done, we can now actually leave. In fact, we are going to be coming up to the retirement home. Which is the sort of last area of the game. So what we need to do is go all the way back to the right. And then up towards Trinity Boulevard again. So, head to the left, we're going to go and speak to Mother Cluckin' Chicken Guy. So we need to give the Chicken Man Jones the signed receipt, which should be the second one. Uh, either the first or second one. You'll know what a signed receipt looks like. It's a piece of paper with a signature on it. And what he's going to do is give us the chicken hat and the chicken shirt costumes. That'll be 57 and 58 out of 69. <laughs> um, and now we're done. So what we're going to do is go to the front of the retirement home, which is called Golden Haze. Hilarious. Now, all we're going to do is just give Mo the Hobo the empty pizza box. Uh, that will give us the Hobo Habitat achievement and uh, gives us access to the Golden Haze <laughs> retirement home. Wow, it's a lot of room. Thanks, I'll take it. I just helped a homeless man find some guard. Okay, that was strange. Well, onward to something more normal. So here we go then, let's do this thing, man. Right, so we can't actually get through the front because of course uh, there's an old person in the way. And you know, I highly advise not um, tripping her up or you know, bashing a walking stick in or anything like that. Don't do it in real life either. So we need to go to the left, head around the back here. Now we need to go and look into the dumpster on the left hand side. 
just ha take a look in and we're going to find Ted Bear, which is the second one out of two. And that will unlock the survivalist achievement. Now, by the way, after all this bit, if you don't have the Freaky Flasher achievement for remaining completely nude for at least 10 minutes... Um, we have to get this now before touching the cart, because when we get the retirement home, we can't walk around naked. So, if you haven't unlocked the Freaky Flasher yet, stay nude, and then just wait around until the Freaky Flasher achievement unlocks. If you've done it the same as me, uh, same with me earlier on, we can now just go ahead, touch the cart, press the Y button, and we can now um, basically jump in. And that's going to get us the Operation Intrude N313 achievement. And the prune head costume, prune face costume, and prune body costume, which would be 59, 60, and 61. Ugh, covered in prune swirl sludge. Growth. Now, as always, with every new area, I just highly suggest making a quick and cheeky manual save. It's always worth doing, just in case, because sometimes there's a couple of point of no returns here, so it may, it may be worth doing it, saving, you know, regularly, just to be on the safe side. So when we come into this room here on the right, we need to look at, touch, and talk to the picture of Jesus, which is on the right. We need to talk to the wheelchair sign just to the left of us for the next Godham, which would be 33 out of 40. So where it says electronic wheel stairs, wheelchair storage, make sure to talk to that. Then we can look at touch and talk to Jesus. That should be the second out of four Jesus achievements. And we get the crown of thorns costume as well for 62 out of 69. Right, this area is done. So now we can just go up. And basically what we're going to do is enter the first door uh, on the very right. So we're going to go into Magdalene's room. Magdalene, Magdalene, Magdalene. So, a couple of achievements and a couple of things to grab. First of all, touching the tall dresser. The taller of the two dressers. Um, touching that will give us the Pope hat costume. Look at me, I am a de Pope. Great accent. That's a 63rd out of 69 costumes. Now what we're going to do is actually speak to Magdalene. And uh, um, ask her, choose, sorry, the fourth option. Uh, not the first one, again, that was just a mistake. Me uh, getting a bit overexcited. So choose the fourth option. Fine, uh, I command thee to do my bidding. And the Jeremiah 29.12 achievement will unlock. Score! I'll be sure to bring it to... Oh, no, that's not what I meant. You know I never miss... Of course, I was going to give it to my grand... No, please don't. I don't want the money. Look at you, testing my... This is horrible. I... Okay, lady, you just keep... Ooh, is that how easy it is to take ex to take advantage of someone's faith in religion? Give me five bucks, I am Jeebus. Hello, Jeebus. No, apparently not. So, G two more Jesus pictures in here. The one is on the shelf. So, again, we need to um, look at touch and talk, which is on the sort of long dresser right there. And then the fourth and final picture of Jesus is on the door. Very small picture. That one would be very easily missable. Uh, so, again... Just do the whole uh, looking at, touching, and talking to the picture of Jesus on the door as well to get the Lost Prophet achievement. I'm glad there was no S on the end of that because Ian Watkins is an absolutely dirty, rotten, goddamn scumbag. But I do feel sorry for the rest of the band of Lost Prophets. Screw you, Ian Watkins. Right, so, uh, when you get the Lost Prophet achievement, now we can head out. And now we can go into the next room, which is Bernie's room. Now, this is Grandma's boyfriend. Uh, we covered in prune stuff, so a couple of things to get. The box in the back of the room, right there, um, to the to sort of top right-hand corner. We're going to get the old coop and liver spots costume, 64 and 65. Now we're going to talk to the toilet for the next Godham, which will be number 34 out of 40. And talk to the bed for the 35th Gotham. You're one big piece of shit. <laughs> That's funny. Right, so what we have to do now is actually talk to Bernie Shanks... A lot of times. So basically, his responses are random. So all you got to do is just keep talking to him until the Burnt by Bernie achievement unlocks. And that is for listening to every one of Bernie's prune swirl insults. Um, now, this can literally take up to one minute, two minutes, maybe even three minutes. Because 
Like I said, some of his insults do repeat themselves, so if you think that you've seen it before, you probably have. So, just keep talking to Bernie until the Burned by Bernie achievement unlocks. Again, could be any time, they're all random, so could be a minute, could be two, could be a little bit longer. But you keep going. Hi. Listen up, squirt. Hi. So you have two up. Hi. Ah! Hi. I didn't survive. So for me, I think that took about two minutes in order for that to unlock. Don't know why he's so random. It's because he's senile and going off his nut. But anyway, as long as we got that achievement, we can now head out and go into the next room. A couple of things here. We're going to take the pill bottle, which is next to the TV and the piggy bank, right at the forefront of the screen there. Uh, we're going to talk to that to get the next Garum. So that'll be 36 out of 40. And then we're going to talk to the Thai guy guy himself, the guy with the Thai, the old guy with his grandkids. And we're going to get the guy Thai costume. Uh, don't worry about the piggy, that's not a thing. Don't worry about that. Uh, just talk to the guy Thai costume for costume 66 out of 69. Um, by the way, if you don't have that Burned by Bernie achievement, you've got to hear all of his responses before jumping into the fountain later on. Otherwise, you'll have to do it on another playthrough. Uh, just to let you know that one with Bernie. So we get the guy tie. Now what we have to do is talk to him again, just to unlock the back in my day achievement. So basically, talking to the old guy twice gets you this the guy tie costume and the back in my day achievement. After this, we can now leave the area, go to the left, and go into this is the common area now. We're gonna talk to Alvin, who is messing with the TV, the old Werther's original himself. So go ahead, speak to him. Now we're gonna choose option four and ask him to prom. Now for me. The achievement unlocked right here. Um, but obviously I'm going to show you where the other two are just in case it doesn't unlock for you. But um, yeah, for once, a game glitched in my favour. So that's the Desperate Times achievement. Again, if it doesn't pop for you here, don't worry, I'll show you where the other two are as well. So no panic. Um, but that's all we're talking to Artie Werther's original for. So now we can just uh, say have fun watching TV. Now we're going to be coming up to our final side quest. We're going to sp speak to Big Gert right here. Sitting down, having a chill. Now what we're going to do is choose the third option. Eventually, when she's... Uh, do me a favor, inhale deeply. <laughs> Why? Why do you have that glove, Granny? What are you doing to me? Ah, uh, no! It's so enjoyable! Right, so again, don't worry about the first option there. as me doing that accidentally. So, choose the third option. You shitting me? I don't get it. They just sell my- Some years ago, I spec- Uh, okay. Yeah, sounded great. Sounded fucking fantastic, eh, Sonny? Well, those dipshit rubber mall tires! They delivered res- That doesn't seem like something that- Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! So did they come replace- Oh, sure. They offered to- Lent me a new gun. Actually, that's a lawsuit. Pretty hard to hit him with a lawsuit. Sorry to hear that. No- and then, when you can, we're going to choose the second option, can I help in some way? And this is the her side quest, and the final side quest of the game, called Mail Call. And then, after this, what we can do is just continue left and head to the reception area. Why don't you- Holy shit! I guess you best be getting off. I guess. So from here, just head to the right now to get into the reception area. Don't go back up, because you'll just go back into the commons uh, area, as I just show. Uh, so head to the right, and this is where you'll find the reception. Right, somebody is taking a long, long forever nap. Uh, for some reason, none of the receptionists and nurses have noticed, hilariously, but we need to touch them to activate the life alert button. What that's going to do is distract the nurse, because now she's going to be like, Oh, well, um, you, you look a little... Um, Wow, you look a little deceased. So, talk to the bulletin board. Again, make sure to talk to the bulletin board on the right side of the room here to get the next Gotham. That'll be 37 out of 40. Now we can talk to Orson, whose boobs are hanging from his cheeks for whatever particular reason. Uh, and again, make sure that you're not talking to the paper and that you're talking to the actual board itself. Now we can talk to Boob Cheeks, Orson. And now we can ask him to prom. So that'll be, of course, 26 out of 27, if you still haven't unlocked the achievement. And after this one, we can now head right again and go into the dining hall. 
Sure. So, show you what your coin collection. Why would I want to see your coin? No, I, you. I don't have your coin collection. What I'm trying to say is, I coins or beans, you can't grow. I think it's pill. I've once seen a man with. I better. Yeah, so I killed a few men. Right, so here we are. Now we need to talk to Ethel, who is the only one trying to eat peas, but, you know, that's not going so well. You could have li literally eaten anything else. So, talk to her, and then select option 4, which is asking her to prom. So, now, if you didn't unlock it earlier, this should be number 27 out of 27, and you will unlock the achievement called Desperate Times. So, hopefully you haven't missed one. Sadly, if you have and it hasn't unlocked, you'll have to go through the whole game again. Um... Uh, but it doesn't actually take too long to get to this point. If you don't have to do any side quests and stuff, you don't. it doesn't take too long, so don't worry about that. Next, we're going to talk to the TV plug, just to the right of Ethel, to get the next Gotham. Make sure it's the TV plug and not the um, TV socket. So again, this one is kind of finicky. You've got to get it dead on, but make sure that he said Gotham. And that'll be number 38 out of 40. And now we can just go to the left, staying in this area, but just to the left is the nurse's station. So stay in the area there with Ethel, she can't eat peas. Person. A uh, couple of things in here. We're going to talk to the bulletin board to get the next garden, which is number 39 out of 40. And we're going to touch the purse on the wall, just to the left right there. There it is, to grab a Gert Bag's letter. I'm just a teenage Gert Bag baby with me. Me, 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 me. Right, into our inventory, we're going to add the stamp to the letter. That is how you normally would send stamps. So, the stamped scathing letter should be added to your backpack now. Now we can head outside and basically just go to the mailbox. So, where the blind pawn guy, the blue braille pawn guy, and the dog attack of the mailman is, that's where we need to go. So, head down. This is the main area. So, in the reception area, head down. Head down again. Slightly to the right, just past the ice cream truck. And put the letter into the mailbox and head back to Gert Bag. Teenage Gert Bag. I mailed her letter. I don't feel good. Gert Bag! Right, so, now we can head back, we're going to talk to Gertie here again, and we will get the Puny Express achievement, and, providing you followed the video, you will also get the World Can Wait achievement for completing all the optional side quests. So you should get two achievements here, Puny Express, the World Can Wait, and get the Smooth Coop uh, costume, which is 67 out of 69. So, go back down, go into the reception area, and now we can head up into the white door, just where Coop is right now. And that is the courtyard. So, three achievements we are, and we should be grabbing here. The first one, in the upper right corner of the courtyard, we're going to talk to this tree with flowers. Um, to get the last Gotham. So, the one with flowers and white flowers sticking out of the tree. So, that should be the Gotta Gotta Mall achievement. Talk to this bush at the very right hand side three times. Now you have to, you definitely have to talk to it three times in order to get a reply and the bushy tail achievement. There was a happy little bush named Bushster. One day, in evil, the other bushes laughed at Bushley attacked. The other bushes in the hedge were the gardener couldn't believe his ears. I'm just a bush, and I. The gardener lowered his shovel. To the gardener proceeded to one by one. Wow, that was. You got your story, kid. Now leave me the fuck alone. Heh, <laughs> leave. Fuck off already. Bro, that is one angry bush. But either way, we will be getting the bushy tail achievement. And because we got the ghillie hat and the ghillie suit, that will be 68 and 69 and 69. So you should be getting the project runway achievement as well. So you should have had gotta got them all achievement, a bushy tail, and project runway to add to the collection. So when this is done, we are just gonna now go ahead and finish the story. This is a bit of a point of no return. So, before cleaning yourself, uh, make sure that you've got the Burned by Bernie achievement as well. If you have, we're all good. Um, if not, uh, it's always, again, always worth saving the game here just in case as well. If not, you should have gone back and got the Burned by Bernie, but you've been following the video, so you've probably got it anyway. So, don't panic. So, when we've cleaned ourselves up, we're going to head back 
And now we're going to go back into Bernie's room. So just keep heading all the way back to the right. Into Bernal's room right here. And then now that we don't have any prune juice on, we can now give Grandma's photos. So, I'm going to actually show you what they look like. You can press the X button there, and we see some granny butt. And luckily, luckily the chicken nips are crossed out, um, so we don't see them. But that is what Granny's pictures looks like. Given the Bernie, we will get the achievement called <laughs> Send News. Now, I bet you didn't think you'd be doing this. Um, getting your nan laid, basically. No, I bet you didn't think you'd be doing that in this day and age. <laughs> but it still happens. I wonder if they've got like a, you know, like Tinder where everyone just meets up just to, you know, basically just to give each other, you know, genital diseases and stuff. I wonder if there's one for old people as well. That'd be funny <laughs> and disgusting. So after this one, we get the Send Nudes achievement. Um, Bernie's, uh, he's basically told us he's going to shank his dank to it. So we're just going to go ahead and leave. Good idea. Right. Oh, actually, no, we've got to do one thing for him before he can uh, uh, shank his dank. Go into the comments area on the left. Here is the sleeping Pringles guy. <laughs> he just dead, does look like Senor Pringles. Um, we need to touch the guy. This is another point of no return. So if you've got stuff to do or any achievements left, press no. Go and grab them. If we're all good, which it should be if you've been following the video, uh, just press yes. And the Pringles man will m wake up. Monty Z, Monty Pringles, Monty P. Anyway, bit of a cutscene here. Um, the juvenile delinquent achievement will unlock. Uh, so we can skip the video. This is fine. Although, again, it's pretty hilarious if you do want to watch it. Um, now we're coming up to the end of the game. So basically, <laughs> the fuzz to my doorstep. So smash through the dialogue here with the old uh, boob chin. Can be tried as one. What? What would the neighbors? What punishment could be worse than being torn? <gasps> Cooper, those hormones must be out of control. You've no. I hate too bad, Buster. God damn it! You don't care. Coop, I... No, you treat me more like an errand boy than a grandson. You say I. But you don't care about me, Grandma. Coop, you don't want. Uh -huh. Yeah, and as soon as I graduate, I'm running away forever. <laughs> oh. Why do I keep acting out? Why do I only make things worse? What the- Psionic Steve, I'll bet you never got yelled at by your grandma. I mean, if your grandma wasn't eating- You'd stand up to my bullies, not run from- But you're not here. I guess I'll go to sleep and try to forget about this suck-ass day. Maybe tomorrow I'll- Seahorse to sawhorse, come in. Don't forget. I'm over the radio lingo. Can Roger that. Reading you. Whatever. Anyway, have you been outside? Ken and his butthole patrol have been. Get Zooks! I can't skip school today. How the hell? Today's a big field trip to the bomb shelter. Jesus! How do you? I have dirt on every. Oh no, he's just asleep. Get over here, duder. But there's no way Grandma will sign my permission slip. Yeah, I heard. What? No! It wasn't my fault! Look! You're on your own there, bud. I can't fight all your fat chance. Alright, well... Wait, before you go... Can you make it quick? I was wondering... If you help me find out what you... So... Yes, if you help me out, I'll be your prom date. Plus, we all know... <laughs> yeah. Besides, imagine the look... <laughs> Alright, get out there and try not... Okay, love you. I mean, seahorse over and... Shit! If Grandma doesn't sign my permission slip, can it? Right, so, bullies are gonna kick our ass. So, what we're going to do is just head down... If you didn't get the red pen from the desk right there, just make sure to grab that. Because uh, we're gonna need that right now. So, from Coop's room, we're gonna head down to the left. We are going to grab the check just by the pictures and the coat rack. Remember, we got the Gotham with the goat coat rack earlier on. We're going to grab the check from there. Um, next, we are going to go into the garage. So head all the way to the right and howden siding. And again, 
and just keep going all the way to the right until we see the workbench. There it is, the back of the garage. Now we're going to open up our inventory and we're going to put the check on the light box. So basically the big box looking open thing. Put the check on there. Then we're going to put the permission slip on it as well. So the permission slip will of course be the very last item on your list. Now we can touch the blue button just next to it. That will connect the light box. That will turn that on. Now that it's on, we can open up our inventory again, use the pen on the light box, and that will get the sign permission slip for the mission permission achievement. Mention housing chosen. Yes! Okay, if I can get this slip to school without Ken. There we go, there's that one done. Fantastic! Right. We're going to leave the house and we're going to start heading towards the school. So we're just going to head out of Grand Graham's house. The old uh, chunky nip chin. And now of course from here what we're going to do is just start heading all the way to the left. In order to go towards school. Not to the right. So I'm trying to, you can go down in order to get on the main road. The bullies are waiting there to stick a shotgun up our ass or something. I don't know. Uh, so we can obviously just head straight to the school. What we need to do is go down and head towards the gas station. Now you'd think they'd see us come in and then just chase us, but evidently not. So head down here towards the gas station. Before doing anything else, have a look and press the X button on the on the floating bag just above us right there. There it was. Um, and that's going to get us the most beautiful thing I've ever seen achievement. But remember, you have to do this now before doing anything else, otherwise you will miss out on the achievement. So, just press the A and then the X button on the plastic bag. Oops, sorry. And uh, that is just for, like I said, staring at a bag blowing in the wind. Otherwise, we can now use the fly paper on the plastic bag. There we go, and then he's going to grab that. Then what we can do is use that same plastic bag on the leaf blowers on the left. Man, Coop might be a loser, but he is sure smart. Um... Which, I mean, to be fair, it's me who's smart, because I told you how to do it. <laughs> anyway, so yes, this is basically another point of no return, but, you know, we've got everything we need. So, um, we're going to skip the cutscene. In fact, we've literally got, we're basically at the end of the game now. We are at the end of the game, so just a speed run left to go. So skip the video. What's going to happen is we're going to get the Look Mar, I can fly achievement. And we're going to end up in a laboratory. Now the first thing we're going to do is pick up the eyeball on the floor just to the left of us as we begin. Wonder what happened to that midget, midget skeleton. God damn. So that's going to get us the blue shirted eye grabber achievement as well. Now on the long desk on the right you can see these pile of books. Uh, what we're going to do is actually just grab the top book off. And that's going to cause all kinds of mayhem, because that's what you do, isn't it? You go and you stumble across a secret weird laboratory, you just start touching stuff and picking up eyeballs and stuff. Nice, right. So we've got the Bible, that one's all good. A couple of things have fallen off, so what we're going to do is grab the erasers just to the left of the bowling ball. It's obvious what a bowling ball is. It's, it's obvious what a couple of erasers look like, so pick those ones up. Now, what we can do is head to the right and then down a little ramp. Eventually, eventually, eventually on us. There it is. Now, don't go through the door just yet. What we need to do is get the erasers out and then use them on the doorway. That will reveal some laserinis. And they're coming. They're coming. There we go. Now, just to get through this, just nip through as soon as the lasers on the left go away. You can easily nip through, no problems. Um, for some reason, it's taken me three attempts to realize... Maybe four attempts to realize. So yeah, it's always going to be the same, so don't panic about that. You should get the Mission Impassable Achievement there, the same as me. Um, now, last thing we're going to do, we're just going to head all the way to the left, to this big monitor where it says Danger. We're going to whip out our eyeball that we picked up, because again, that's what you just do. You just keep these random weird eyeballs, put it on the eyeball scanner. What that's going to do is get the Eye for Detail Achievement. And also it's going to give us a secret doorway to unlock and give us the A Long Road Ahead achievement. So, um, now also if you didn't um, unlock the Die of Boredom achievement for standing in one location without moving for 30 minutes, now would be the time to do it before moving on. If not, that's fine. Now we can just basically skip these last cutscenes 
and smash out the speed run. But the speed run is actually genuinely not as bad. It took me around 22 minutes to do, and I wasn't going that fast, so do not panic. But just skip the last cutscene, and we'll go with the speed run. Guys, I think you're taking. <laughs> Fuck him up, Kurt! So, not many jokes are going to be flying away this time. I'm going to have to be telling you um, just a couple of things. So remember, just keep spamming the A button as quick as you can to get through any videos and any dialogue. Make sure you double tap the A button through any um, through any doors and, and stuff like that as well. Um, so hit A twice immediately to walk through any door or doorway. It does save a couple of seconds. Um, here is my next name. Chin run! Because that is exactly what we're going to be doing. Otherwise, it's not too bad. But we're just going to smash it. No time for stopping. No time for joking. Except um, nip nips. Right, so immediately spa spam through the dialogue as quick as you can. Yeah, keep spamming, spamming. Remember, so we're going to go over to the left. Oh, God damn it, Steve, go away. Right, there's uh, just a locker above the first goon's head. Press the A button a couple of times. We are going to um, use the finger trap on the two goons. So again, left bumper to go into your inventory, of course. As soon as, it, as, soon as we can, as soon as we can begin. Uh, doi 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 doi. Uh, oh, Steve, doi doi doi. Right, put the finger trap on the two guns. And that's going to be all good. Immediately skip the video as quickly as it can. Because it is going to pop up eventually. Yep, just keep going all, all the way to the left, though, to go into the gym. Now we can skip the video. Use your brain on the diploma there, of course, in the top right corner in the set of burning books. Quick as you can, press the A button twice. And then again, skip the video. What's this? What's this? <laughs> right, okay, so, spam through all the dialogue here. Of course, we're not doing any side quests, nothing. We're just getting through to the end of the game. So, what we're going to do after all this, sign our dipshit dick turd. Thank you very much. Go into the hall and go to the right into the principal's office. Of course, it's the faculty office first. And then just smash through all the dialogue here with the principal. Have uh, your that's not host. Uh, tell me. Uh, 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 doesn't you know people keep it? You'll leave. No, why? You could. I'm. It's just. Dear, dear. Please, but. What's that? Hello? I'll deal. Right, when Principal Rand McNally finally bag us off, we're going to grab the white out on the left-hand side, remember? So again, Y button to pick it up. We're going to use it with our permanent record on the desk. So stop talking to yourself, Coop, you nutbag. You nut job. Use that on the permanent record on the desk, and then, of course, just press the A button to quickly back out of here. Head back down and out into the hallway. And immediately go to the right as soon as you get out of here. Go to the right, grab the ba plastic bag hanging out of the trash can by the entrance. Get out of the way, um, female Cartman. So go to the right, grab the plastic bag here out of the bin. And there we go, right. From here, go to the left, and we're going to talk to Chet and Brittany, who are making out. And as soon as you can, just choose the third option. This is starting to toy me on a bit. Oh, yeah. You know, super... I got... There's a... Total... <laughs> 
Don't worry, we're still a perv, apparently, for some reason. So, go into the door to your left, labelled 101, into Murphy's class. Pick up the pencil into uh, the old s and bondage legend. Uh, we're not obviously talking to him, we're just going to pick up the pencil, go outside. Again, of course, keep double tapping the A button when you go through new doors. Then use the pencil from your inventory onto your locker, which of course has coop on it. That's probably why you're a loser, because you don't know where your locker is. Right, go into the history class, which is labelled 103, so to the left, not to the right. To the left is class 103, that's the history one. We're going to just pick up the apple on the top of the bookshelf, just to the left of the chalk chalkboard. <laughs> chalkboard. Now we're going to leave, and then what we're going to do is go straight down into the hall with the room with the doorstep in front of it. So straight down. Next, let's just grab the sugar from the front of the lab table. There it is, beautiful. Now, once again, we're going to perv our way through the girls' bathroom. Again, nobody's telling us for some reason. So go into the girls' bathroom, pick up the yeast in a trash can. Yeast, mother, yeast. Yeast it is. Next, we're going to go straight into the boys' bathroom, and we're going to talk to the blonde guys twice to get the hall pass. So remember, you have to speak to them once, they give you the side quest, or the main quest. Speak to them again to complete it. And now we have our official um, hall pass. <laughs> now we can just head out. We're going to talk to Holly, and she's going to be fuming and, you know, whip out his shotgun and... Try and stick it up someone's butt again, Jason Statham style. As soon as that one's done, we're going to go back into the faculty office on the right-hand side after we speak with a Sawyer. How's it going? Uh, that, it is. Well, that's none to all right. I'll get right on. Oh, and I'll do my... Ah, sh I better... Sawyer. So, head right and go into the faculty office. We're going to talk to the two boys on the bench. And you can either choose option two or three. It doesn't matter because um, Krabby Patty on the right there is going to get distracted. So, <laughs> again, sometimes try not to go unbelievably fast because you'll keep uh, hitting the first dialogue option. Choose option two or three. I'm just going to choose the make out option again because it's um, absolutely hilarious. And, again, all the homophobes will hate that, which is just funny to me. Right, we need to use the USB, uh, USB drive on the Xerox machine to our right three times. Because again, for some reason, it doesn't work once, twice, but it works the third time. Don't know how that happened, but it did. So as soon as that one's done, we're going to pick up the flyers and head back out into the hallway. What the? Okay, now. There we go. So from here, we are going to place one of the flyers on the announcements board directly where Mark Huffingbag is. Pop that one up. Next, we are going to head into the hallway just below the office. There it is, so straight down. Hang another flyer on the artboard as we enter next to the very focused artiste again. Um, head into the uh, shop class, of course, labelled 105. Pick up the green box cutter on the bottom right. We're not talking to Max Verstappen, 2021 Formula 1 world champion. Lewis Hampton fans angry still at that. Um, and then just move out. We can just go back to the uh, left. We're going down the hallway once again, below the room. Continue right, past Holly, and into the cafeteria. What we're going to do then is place the last flyer on the announcements board to our left. There you go. So that's that quest done for Soya. Soya. Next, we're going to head down near the stairs to get back into the main hallway by the janitor. Now go into the gym all the way to the left and use the box cutter on the rope. There that is. Okay, as soon as we grab that, we're obviously going to pick up the rope. So now, after we do this, we can just go back down, because we need to go into the boiler room. So go back down into the boiler room, which is labelled, not an exit, that one. We're going to grab the keys hanging on the wall, just to the right of the boiler. Again, we don't need to do anything else, of course. We're going to go back into the main hall now. Go to the right, and go ahead and speak to Soye. I got those flyers up. I'm sure. So I hope. Yeesh. With that one done, we can now go to the right, go into the janitor's closet, use the door on Dr. Jan Etor's closet. 
And now we can just head in. Same thing as the sort of main game. We're going to pick up the pulley. And you can either combine it with a rope inside or outside. Doesn't matter as long as we um, combine the pulley and the rope to make a pulley rope or something. Um, but I obviously end up just doing that now. Almost forgot to do that one. So do that. Now we can go back down. Go to the right and um, go in back into the shop class. Go to the right. Use the pulley and the rope on the hook on the desk right there. There it is. As soon as we've done that, then we can pull the lever, which should be just behind Coop. Is big fat ginger heads ruining that one. Or in the way again. Sorry, not ruining it. Gingers are lovely. So as soon as we do that, we can pick up the carpentry book. Hey, it's fine. I'm, I'm a half ginger myself. I am a day walker, as it were. Now we can pick up the book, go to the left, and we can now head to the library. So it is straight down the hallway once more. So go straight down and down again where Holly was shooting that guy. Or standing on him. God damn, that's a nice woman. Right, remember we actually have to speak to the librarian. You can't just give her the book straight away. You actually have to speak to the librarian. So as soon as you speak to the librarian, slam through the dialogue, then give her the carpenter book, and now we can leave the school. A lot quicker this time round. Oh, Please. Ah, uh, that how was I the thing. Uh, I'm it's okay. I'm a not my luck when this sound you uh, help. <laughs> Hey, uh, you what? Oh, uh, Rebel, you said that? Wow. So, heading out to the left, uh, ding, 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 bell's gonna ring. Let's go all the way to the right and outside. Because what we're gonna do is go straight to the pink house. So, stay up here on sort of this side of the road. The pink house will come at us thick and fast. There it is with the guy sitting outside it. Go ahead, take the fly paper from the left. Ah, she blows. And now what we need to do... Yeah, good. Thanks very much. Now just go all the way to the right. Go to Trinity Boulevard and go into Rod's Thick Pizza. Run, Ginger, run! I'm not the lord. Now, of course, remember, we have to do this in one sitting without saving, so just uh, keep that one in mind. So give Rod the free pizza coupon. He's going to put his special sauce all over it for us. A free There's day. Your uh, oh, uh. Rod, wish you wouldn't... There we go, smashing through that. So as soon as we can, we're going to go all the way back to our house. So of course, we're just going to head down from here, then to the left. Then the cutscene's going to be there with the bullies. So just go to the left and run all the way to the left for the cutscene to appear. What? Uh, that Face Ack Coop uh, <laughs> Me I'll be Ha Was it? Uh How'd you know I Uh I did Oh uh, And any <laughs> Don't Yes Oh uh, I Yeah well Cool I am Ah Hey <sighs> My <sighs> Was it Please What no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Thanks. Sure. Right. With this one done, we're going to skip the video. We're going to pick up the red pen on Coop's desk. So we have that's important for the writing and forging a signature later on. So grab that. Head downstairs, and we're going to talk to Grandma. When we speak to uh, old um, boob cheeks right here, old titty cheeks, select option four to continue. So how can I help Grandma? And then just the fifth option to exit straight out of the conversation. So uh, what we're going to do then after this bit, we're going to go straight into the kitchen. So i got to run. Talk to all four boobs of you later. Go into the kitchen, open the fridge, and grab the fruity roll. Remember not to um, try and go on it directly. Go sort of just to the left of it. And that will work. Uh, otherwise, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Third time's a charm. Now we're going to go straight upstairs to our disgusting, dirty grandma's room and pick up the cane. So up the stairs, it's obviously the very right door. 
which is our uh, filthy Nana's room. Grab the cane. Me -me 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 Go back into the hallway. And we're just going to use the cane on the string to open the attic, which of course should be just bit, uh, directly above us now. So use that. We're going to head into the attic. There we go. All the way to the right, we're going to use the fruity roll on the sort of broken wire. So that should, of course, be the first in your inventory. So do that. Smash that one out. Then we're going to pick up the fireworks underneath the chair with the box. So it kind of looks like a box of raisins or something. Or a set of chocolate sandy bows. Go back to the living room and speak to Grandma. And then select option four to continue. Make sure to choose the fourth option. I got your print. Adam! You need me to... It's... How am I... You should be... The attic again. I guess... Thanks, dear. Wasp and woes. Let's go. So go into the dining room. Pick up the matches on the table. Whoops. Sorry. It's very easy to go back on yourself. Pick up the matches here. And then we're going to head back to the left. Into the kitchen. And then straight through the double doors into the old backyard. Right. Place the fireworks onto the grill. Then put the matches on the grill. Where's barbecue ever? And then we can pick up the oven mitts to the right of us. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, eventually. Come on, cutscene unskippable. Right, pick up the oven mitts. Then we're just going to go up the ladder. Use the oven mitts on the hive and uh, make sure to skip the video as quick as you can. Sorry, buddy, we don't care this time. We're in a bit of a rush. So, head back down. We're going to go ahead and speak to Grandmama once again. And then, obviously, what she's going to do now is give us her... Her... her well, her five boobs, apparently. Her four boobs and a boner on her chin. Uh, all those nude pictures. So, what we're going to do, we're going to leave the house now. Uh, so, of course, that's why you're going to speak to Grandma. Make sure you got her nudes. Okay. Go all the way to the right, back to Trinity Boulevard, and then we need to give Mo the hobo the empty pizza box. That is, of course, how we can get into the Golden Haze <laughs> retirement home. So as soon as we get to Trinity, Bo Trinity Boulevard, give Mo the hobo directly in front of us the pizza box, and that is our cue to go. Oh, I appreciate it, but I don't eat gluten. It's a oh. Wow, it's a lot. Thing. I just helped. Okay. So from here, we can just go ahead, uh, we can head straight to the left. And immediately just touch the cart with the prune juice on it in order to get in. It's nothing. Ugh. All right. No time for messing around this time, unfortunately. What we're going to do is go all the way to the left. Left, left, left. What we need to do is go into the courtyard. So, past the common area. Into the reception here on the right. Oh, God damn it! Wrong area. Go into the receptions. Go into the courtyard, of course, which is the white door. And just um, touch the fountain there to clean off the prune juice. Right, so... When we're all cleaned up, eventually. Eventually. Come on, we got no time for this. Right, head back down the way you came until we basically end up in Bernie's room again. So, from here, go left and go all the way to the right through the commons until we get to Bernie's room. Which, remember, is going to be the middle door. So, when we get here, remember to go into the middle door, which is Bernie Sanders. Talk to Bernie. Hi. My God. Well, Hi. is there any? Uh, can't you? Fuck. This sounds like. I... Now we have to touch up an old man to get his Viagra pills. Okay. So head left into the common area again. Touch the old uh, sleeping Pringles man, and we can skip the video as quick as we can, and all the dialogue as quick as you can as well. Thief. What the fuck? Me? I did not. You? What? 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 <gasps> no! Two! God! Coo! No! But! You do Coo! You don't! Uh, yeah? Shit. Why do I keep... 
Psionics, you'd splay, I guess. Right, so when we're good to go, go back down the stairs into the living room here, pick up the check by the coat rack of the pictures, there it is, go into the garage on the right hand side, so of course we're going through the dining room, old uh, four, four boob chins is going to be on the phone, so you go all the way to the right, uh, go into your inventory, put the check on the light box, put the permission slip on the light box, which of course should be the bottom one of your inventory right there, the very first one. Um, put, turn the blue button, uh, push the blue button to turn it on. And of course then we can use the red pen on the light box and get that one going. Yes! So with that one done, let's go all the way to the left and basically out of the house right now. And of course... Like I said, you now know we're coming up to the end of the game. So head down. We're going to see the bullies. They're going to do stuff to us, um, which one day we might enjoy. But, you know, today's not that day. So head left and then down into the gas station. <clears throat> and then we're going to use the fly paper on the plastic bag in the air immediately. So grab that one. And then, of course, we need to use that same plastic bag on the set of leaf blowers to our left. And also choose, uh, just keep spamming the dialogue because we need to choose the, the top option to continue anyway, which would be yes. Skip through the video as quick as you can. And now we're in the laboratory, so we are getting there, getting there. So pick up the eyeball. Of course, we definitely need said eyeball. Um, pick up the book holding up the long desk on the right. There it is. Oh, it worked first time for me. That's nice. Pick up the erasers immediately. Uh, to the left of the bowling ball, of course. Come on, Koopy, you got all day for this, pal. <laughs> we, we got places to go, achievements to get. Use the erasers on the archway down the stairs. And as soon as that's done, we need to go through the lasers when there is an opening on the left-hand side. Man, Koop, you are some kind of badass, man. So go straight through. Or, you know, wait for a second or two, whatever. Now go through. Uh, use the eyeball on the scan pad, which is, of course, to the right of the monitor here. Boop! And then as soon as we go through the secret doorway, we can skip the video, and the speed demon achievement will unlock. So again, providing that you've got um, done that in 30 minutes without saving, basically doing it all in one sitting, the speed demon achievement will unlock right here for you. And there we go then, guys and gals. So that is the first part out of a supposed trilogy. Still waiting for the second game. Um, but that is that one done. 55 out of 55 achievements. I absolutely enjoyed the crap out of this game. And I hope you enjoyed the crap out of it as well. And that the guide helped. So if you enjoyed the game, if the guide helped, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe. And let me know in the comments uh, section below if it, if it was very helpful. Uh, don't forget, of course, to check out my socials, Instagram, uh, what, else, what else am I on there? Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And honestly, a big shout out to Rob, Dave, and Chris for producing this. Because Cyanide and Happiness is just... It's a work of art. It's bloody beautiful. So well done to everyone who worked on the game. But that's it then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> big love. <laughs>